Welcome, fellow Tomb Raider fans. Here we are. Tomb Raider stream number three. We are at, what was this place called? The Obelisk of Kamun. We are in Egypt. And yeah, thank you, uh, Hercules. You upgrade your membership. Followed you for so long and appreciate everything you make. Lower timeline backstories. A lot of time and effort you take to make sure everything's correct. Well, I appreciate that. I got a lot more fun stuff coming up, too, that uh, bring back some oldies. I'm working on a movie review right now. You guys will enjoy it. Um, also, today we have a new AI voice, so if anyone does Super Chat at any point tonight, well, I hope it works. I tested it, and during my test, it works. It's an AI voice. Uh, I, 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 found, I found how to adjust it and change it, so I'm using a different uh, a website called uh, TT. TTS Monster, I forgot. What it, I think that's what it's called. So we'll, we'll see what happens if anything comes in tonight. We'll have the AI voice running. It, it's kind of funny. <laughs> so, and I can change it. I have different ones. So I'm thinking either I'll have, I can have multiples in one stream, but I don't know if I like that because you can't choose which one says what. So maybe like, maybe every stream I'll change the voice to different ones. And I found the AI presidents too, and I thought it was hilarious. Dragon, welcome. Yeah, we'll go get started. I don't know if we're going to finish this today, though, because there's the add-on content, too. But no matters. We will get as far as we get, and we'll go from there. See, I don't remember this area when I played this. I don't even know if I made it this far in my original game way back in the day. It's been so long. Oh, did I use the camera last time? Yeah, I did. There was, like, some chairs down here. I remember this. Here we go. Hercules, thank you for the shoe dollars. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Let, all right. Let's see uh, if, if the voice works. It'll pop up with the notification. So it just takes YouTube a minute to ping. I'd buy that for a dollar. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. <laughs> it works. And it's a pirate voice. For those that didn't realize it, I, I, it's uh, it, it's just a generic pirate. It sounds so good, especially when he's talking about nonsense. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Ooh, they got a bunch of them. Next, I'll, I'll try different ones every stream and see what people like. Oh, that's so funny. You know what sucks, though? They had an Optimus Prime one that I wanted, but you got to pay for it. It was like a premium membership, and I was like, all right, let me see how much it is. Premium membership was like $25 a month, and I was like, no, I'm not paying that for just some voice. But it was Optimus Prime, and it sounded just like him, and I was like, man. But the pirate one is free. Dale, welcome. But yeah, the pirate lord. Uh, I'm just going to call him Blackbeard. Let's just say it's Blackbeard. It sounds like Blackbeard from Assassin's Creed. Uh, all right, so I'm going to need a key for that. No. No. <laughs> no. Zelda. Goblin oh flexes boy, 61 months of membership. Ah. It's intense, oh. man. I have arrived. 61 months going strong. Yep. You know, I could do the pirate voice with those member uh, comments too, but I, I the timing was so off because the 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 link gif. And I couldn't separate the the delay between the the, the tips and the the membership comments. So there's this awkward delay. So I just left it on for the uh, chats. Um, I already. How do I grab this? X. Block puzzles. How's your channel going, Goblin? Your Lord channel. I still wish I could find a, a Ezio from Assassin's Creed voice. A revenge flexing too, 26 months. Zelda. Well on your way. Oh boy, smooching time. Ah. Oh, you know it'd be awesome if I get a Vegeta voice to read the chats. They need to add that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Hercules, thank you for that chat as well. Guys, daddy happy jigs. Here we go. 
Why'd I have to move all these? I guess see this notification taking a while. Unfortunately, that I have no control over. Because YouTube is a shit API. Oh, you know what? There was something I... Let's see if it works. I remember reading something about how... Uh... Let me check something here. Haven't touched it. Been super exhausted. I did post a new video about M. Bison. Oh, I got to check that one out. Yeah, I did read that notification, did it? Hang on. I think this could be why. Minimum for default. Oh, I think it requires at least five words. Ask Daddy Happy Jigs. That's two. Let me let me change that. I wonder if that's what it was. Uh, let me change it um, to. Let me try this. Save. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I'm saving it right now. And then we'll reload it. And then I'll see if I can get him to read it. Actually, I might be able to... Let's do this. Recent events. I click on the event and rerun it and see if he does it. <laughs> say it! I want him to say it too. Oh, it just took a while. A study happy jinx. <laughs> he said it. A steady happy jinx. Um. Okay, so it's working. I guess it just takes a bit. God, man, I wish I could do something about that. But whatever, it worked. <clears throat> Make the pirate lord saying all kinds of nefarious things. I don't know which way I should go. Oh, you know what? Here, let's do this. Here, look, we'll do this. Oh, God. I hate these underwater air. Oh, look who's down there. We got Resident Evil 2 alligator. Ooh, look at that. No features. Wow. Yeah, I had uh, Biden, Obama, and Trump, too. They were hilarious. Maybe I'll add them to the running next time. Or maybe I'll do it later today. I think I think I let me see if I can change it. I'm curious if I'm able to. I can change it during stream, I believe. We'll go with that one for a bit. The AI presidents are hilarious because it sounds it sounds just like them. It's the most ridiculous thing. The the one that sounds the most like himself is Obama. I swear it's like he's talking. It's amazing how far we've gotten with AI. Like, this is where I, AI has gotten, that people are just streaming and Obama is reading notifications. Technology, man. That That's what, uh, that's what the internet was invented for, right? Actually, you know what? Let me experiment with something here. Here, I'm going to check them off. I wonder if I can have them rotating, because I think it'll automatically choose... Here we'll do uh we'll do Obama we'll do Biden we <laughs> it's gonna be so dumb. We'll do Trump and we <laughs> we'll do a witch. A random witch. Alright, let me hit save. This is gonna be so dumb. I don't know if it plays them in a certain order or what. I think it just randomly picks one of the ones. It's saving. It's gonna be a second. Uh, what do I do with this? What is the mirror? I hate underwater areas, man. So the whole battlefront release situation is pretty pivotal at the moment. Yeah, I, I've been playing it on Xbox. Um, I haven't had any problems with Battlefront One yet. I'm assuming they've updated stuff by now. I haven't tried Battlefront Two yet. But uh, I don't know. I, I've, from what I've seen, a lot of the issues seem to be on Steam. Um, 
Someone told me last stream that the PS5 version was working fine. So I I wonder if it's just a, a PC thing. Damn it. Get off me. Okay, I got a key. Haha. <laughs> oh, hold on. It saved. Or is it still saving? See, I don't know if I could save this midstream. It's still saving, but I don't know if it's actually going to save while... Reload. Successfully refreshed. All right. Well, I hit save. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if I can cha make changes midstream. It's solely with multiplayer. Yeah, I... Well, not... Well, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where the maps were messing up on single player real bad. That I haven't seen, and I can't comment on the multiplayer. I, I have not tried multiplayer yet. I've just been focusing on single player. I forgot how... Uh, insanely unforgiving battlefront one is on single player on hard like some i i don't even i couldn't even beat geonosis i was on the battle geonosis and i'm doing everything right but then all my you know how is all the numbers of your reserves all my numbers were going down so much quicker than the enemy and i had no control over it I was like what the hell man like how are you supposed to win like that it's so unforgiving it's unfair Ah! Uh, am I stuck? Oh, no. What happened? No! Oh, I think I'm stuck. Oh, wait, wait, I'm unstuck. Now I need air. Fortunately, I'm still at work. I noticed they updated Tomb Raider. Uh, what do you mean they updated it, Rush? Do you... Are you, do you mean you didn't know about the remaster, or are you talking about an actual update? Yeah, because this is the collection that came out a little, a little while ago now. It's 1, 2, and 3 in here. Is this where I came from? I don't even know. Let me refresh this page. Damn it. Hang on, i got to log into this thing. You need an Arnold AI? Oh, you know if they had one. <laughs> you know. You know. Hang on. Uh, Biden. You know what? I could run a test. I just want to see if it works. They had Rocket Raccoon, but it didn't... I don't know. It didn't sound like him too much. They have a Stormtrooper and Ghostface also from Scream. It just didn't sound like them to me. Who did I say? Moist, crit Moist Critical? They got YouTubers on here. Yeah, they have some free, some paid for. Uh, Alright, I got the pirate. So I was looking at the screen here real quick. And the witch. Hit save. Let me let me do test super chat here. Let's see if it does it. I'd buy that for I don't know what it, I don't know if it's gonna play uh, the pirate or what. This is a test super chat alert for one hundred dollars. So it's got the pirate. I it, it's saving, but I don't. Yeah, it's saved. So I'm assuming it's randomized how it picks the the voices. I I hit like five different ones. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep playing. <laughs> we gotta make some progress. The pickup icon changed from exclamation mark to Lara. Oh, you're right. Oh, that wasn't like that before, was it? Uh, I don't know. I, maybe there was an update. That's probably better. Damn, get off of me. Wow, that thing took so much hits. My lord. God, this area is so quiet, though. Like, the soundtrack for this whole area is just desert sands. <laughs> That's the soundtrack. Desert sand. Yeah, it is a little hand. That is different. Okay, we got that open. I have no idea where the hell that was. <laughs> yeah, by the way, um, I don't know. I was exploring some options today to try to 
adjust some of my time so I can have more more time to make videos and like I don't know I, I'm thinking about cutting um does anyone here really care about YouTube shorts or TikToks at all in all honesty because like I was thinking about just cutting those completely I they do take up a lot of time but I put up a poll just out of curiosity because the whole reason I, I clip streams and make shorts and TikToks out of them is very specific it's to attract uh, those audiences to the stream. So if you're someone that looks at shorts and you're like, hey, that looks funny. Let me go to those streams. But I put up a poll to see how many people have found me that way versus just like finding me on the channel. And it's like 2% versus like 50 something percent. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think that YouTube shorts people cross over to long streams or to live streams very often. I'm thinking about just cutting it completely. It takes too much time. Other than food shorts, not really. Yeah, and I don't I don't turn on notifications for those, so you guys shouldn't get notifications for my shorts. Because like I said, if you guys are already here, there's no reason for you guys to need to look at my shorts. It's the same thing you're seeing here. But yeah, I don't think anyone... I mean, let me know if there's anyone here if you found me exclusively through like a YouTube short. I, I'd be very curious, but I have yet to meet anybody that's been like, Hey, I saw one of your shorts and now I'm here. It's just either long-time people that have been on the channel or YouTube recommendations. It's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't feel there's any benefit to it. You want you guys want to hear something funny behind the scenes stuff? I started doing YouTube shorts last year. January 2023. Like with Legacy Goku and that stuff. Uh, total revenue, lifetime-wise. Remember, shorts are tiny. Total revenue, just to give you a, a number that I've had on my shorts, is $7.63. <laughs> so that shows you, like, they kind of don't matter at all. Like, Post Films, welcome. Hey, I recognize you from Twitter. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, for gaming streams and content, shorts are pretty useless. Yeah. Like, on paper, it sounds like a good idea, right? Like, hey, someone will come across this and then go to my streams. But a lot of people commenting on my shorts and, like, my TikToks, I recognize it, are some of you that are already here. So it's like, so the shorts aren't really doing anything. It's just, All it's doing is taking time away that I could be using to make more videos. So, I don't know. That's the thing about YouTube content creation. You, 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 you learn and adjust as you go and try stuff then cut stuff try more stuff try something else it's an ever-evolving learning process i don't know what i'm supposed to do here well i have okay i have that i wonder if that well i'm assuming that key is through the the keyhole at the beginning so let me go back there and see do the likes on shorts counts like shorts on actual videos what do you mean? Do the likes? You mean if the likes count? The likes will count just like any other engagement tool. But I, I think just by shorts, by their very nature, just there's not a whole lot they do unless you're you're trying to build an audience that's all about that short form content. But you guys know, like my content already is not. That's not the content I focus on. My content is like longer form content and live stream. So again, I, I just don't. And it's, it's kind of been proven with the numbers that, like, you know, that sh the short form stuff's just not doing anything. Like, it's, it's just like, why am I wasting my time on it? I forgot where that keyhole was. Was it over here? I think it was over here. Sapphire. Oh, I thought she was going to say, no. No. Oh, shotgun chills. All right, let's explore. We know we got to fly our little drone. I like how we've recognized this as her drone, although it's intended to be a photo mode in the game. <laughs> this is the best advice you guys have given me on the stream. Use this thing. Thank you, whoever it was. I forgot. <laughs> the photo mode's awesome. I consider shorts more useful for, like, food, makeup, and maybe DIY content gaming, though. Nope, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking shorts is more like if, if your overall content is more focused around like very specifically around short videos. 
I don't know. It's it's like YouTube themselves weren't. That's why you got to experiment, like, as a community, like, content creation-wise. Like, what to do with this stuff. Because even YouTube, when they started short, they didn't know what the hell it was for. They just saw TikTok was doing it. So, eventually, communities evolve around that. And it almost seems like the shorts communities are very different than people that will sit here and watch an hour-long reptile video. Like, they don't crisscross with each other. So, it's kind of pointless trying to trying to get those two communities to merge, you know? Might as well stick with what works. What the hell do I do here? I don't... I get so lost in these Egypt levels. You know, I remember... Oh, over here. I remember having this issue in Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. Just being completely lost throughout that whole game. I only use them for short reviews on an unimportant note. I recently got myself a PS2 again. Now, I was wondering, is any, has anyone have any game recommendation? PS2? Man, you got like a decade plus of good games. Not to mention, they had the, the, the Dreamcast library pretty much on there, too. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe people in chat can give you some good suggestions. A lot of see the hard thing is a lot of the games on the PS2, a lot of the really good ones, have been uh, re-released like HD versions on PS3 and like later consoles too. Um, Extermination is a good PS2 exclusive that I was introduced to with this channel on streams. Um, Extermination, if you get a cheap copy of that, it's like a Resident Evil esque survival horror kind of action game. It was really good. A little dated, but it was only on PS2. And it's never been uh, re-released on anything else. Normally it's at God of Wars and Tekkens and all that, but they've all been like re-released and stuff. Manhunt, yeah, Manhunt. See, but Manhunt you get on PS4 now. So I'm saying a lot of these have like HD versions already. Congrats on another Banger MK video. The deep dive on Reptile was awesome. Yeah, I had fun making that Reptile video. I love Reptile, man. He's such a cool character. I've always liked Reptile, but MK1 is where I really started loving that character. It did such a good job with him. Size off. So, you've never faced a Terran before. I love Size off. Video is not doing too well, but I think that's more uh, YouTube's recommendations. It's a weird thing about YouTube videos. Like sometimes they'll recommend videos to your audience, other times they don't. I've, I've had several people today tell me that they didn't even know I released that video because they didn't get notifications, and they have the bell on. So it's like, all right, cool, thanks YouTube for being YouTube. I figure if I have subscribers and they hit the bell and click notifications, you'll you'll notify them. Apparently not. I had one guy tell me that he goes in every week on my channel and goes through the videos just to make sure he doesn't miss anything because he stopped getting notifications. And I know that's true because that's happened to me on several channels that I follow. And I notice it all the time. So now I, I check them every once in a while. Like one channel I watch, I like watching Rerez. He just reviewed that, that shitty Kong game. I happened to be looking at his channel the other day and I saw the video posted like two days before. I never got any notification for it. And the bell, I had the bell click to all. So, it just doesn't work. I always refer to him as Prince Sizal. Yeah, I saw your comment, Red. Where'd you get that from? That's the first I ever heard of that. <laughs> Was that a comic book or something? Because the games... The games never once referenced his bloodline. Because they didn't know what the hell they were doing with the character to begin with. And it's funny, too. Because in the classic universe, they always said he was the last Zatarin. Because Shao Kahn killed the rest. But then, if you remember, in MK2... Uh, the story was that the Zaterans were enslaved. But then they kind of hand-washed that away and said they're not around anymore. Shang Tsung promised to free them from slavery. And it's like, wait a minute. I thought they were all gone. But that's the uh, effect of uh, a classic fighting game series that was making up the story as they went along, basically. Oh, Mortal, oh, Mortal Kombat. You <laughs> You're getting stuff from Mortal Kombat Conquest? That show was so full of bullshit. I used to like that show, though, for real. It's not a bad show. I need to review that show. 
it's not a bad show, but they did so much weirdness. I, I mentioned that show in the review, t in the video, too, because uh, there's an episode where there's, like, an Amazonian queen that's trying to reproduce with Sizoth, or not Sizoth, he didn't have a name then, with Reptile, uh, because um, she wanted her race to have Zaterran features. And <laughs> what a bizarre storyline. Everyone just wants to reproduce a reptile, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Resident Evil Code Veronic X? Yes. Yeah, someone was trying to argue with me on, on uh, one of my Resident Evil videos about a Code Veronica saying that, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, they were telling me I'm wrong that, because uh, I said it was uh, Dreamcast exclusive. And they're like, no, it was on PS2, and I was like, hmm. Code Veronica is Dreamcast exclusive. PS2 is Code Veronica X. There's a distinction. I picked my words carefully. But it's because Wesker, or, um, X added some, um, different plot points. And more scenes with Wesker. So it's, it's a little different. And the whole scene with Alexia and, uh, Wesker is totally different. He, like, runs away instead of fighting her. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's different. Code Veronica X is the superior version. Switch. Ooh. I remember when Mortal Kombat first came out, the rumor was every character that wore a ninja mask were brothers. Yeah, people were making up stuff like crazy. Just because you have the same clothing, you have to be, like, related, your brothers. Makes no sense. Can I go down here? Oh, look at that! Man, I would have never seen that. Look at the new graphics, right? Check that out. New graphics. Look right below me. To the right. Old graphics. Ammo clips. Would have never seen it. They want to make it all pretty with vines. I still remember when Mortal Kombat came out. Actually, Mortal Kombat 3, to be more particular. In the playground, uh, I was arguing with these two brothers. I was lying my ass off. I, I was telling them, because someone told me this rumor, and then I spread the rumor, too, that there was an orange ninja that you find in Jade's Desert. I forgot what you had to do. You had to do some ridiculousness. And I was arguing with these two twin brothers that they, they're just, they were known to be kind of dumb. <laughs> so... I, uh, I told them that I unlocked this orange ninja called Sand. And he has, like, sand and rock powers. And he had to do all kinds of ridiculous in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on Super Nintendo to unlock them that, that Ed, I just made up. I don't remember what it was. But they went home and tried it. And then the next day at school, I remember they were coming back saying that they did it and they beat him. And I was like, I know they were lying because I made that up. <laughs> and then, oddly enough, we have the character of Tremor. Which is kind of how I envision that sand character. He's like a like an orange ninja, except he's more like a like a tan ninja now that has rock powers and like magma powers. I'm not saying I'm responsible for Tremor, but I mean the idea is pretty basic that it's like yeah, of course they were gonna do that eventually. Oh shit! <laughs> how was I supposed to get down from there? Elite, welcome. I don't care about YouTube Shorts or TikToks. Yeah, I think most people don't. And the people that do don't watch, like, regular long-form content regularly either. Die, ugly mummy. Where'd he go? Hey! Hey! I see you! Explosion! Happy to be here. Glad to have you, man. Hopefully get a chill and have a good time. Watching me be lost in this ancient Egyptian pyramid. Alright, let me try to get that again without killing my... See, how the hell? I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save right before... Right before I uh, make that jump. That way there is no room for error if the worst happens. I can just reload. 
Jack and Dexter's fun. Yeah, the, I have. I still have my PS3. Yeah, PS3 collection. I don't. Did they re-release those on PS4? I have the PS3 collection. I still haven't played it. She's not Ezio. She might as well be. She's got all the same skills as the assassins, including falling off of stuff. I think I'm a millennial. What year were you born, Ellie? Millennials. I think millennials are. Uh, I don't. What year did millennials start? Millennials were like mid seventies or late seventies to like mid nineties, right? You're thirty eight. Oh, you're you're only a year older than me. Yeah, you're a millennial. We're both millennials. Yeah, of course you are. You're very much a millennial. It's funny too, because the younger people that are considered on the tail end of millennials are completely different. <laughs> They're totally different than us. Eighty one to ninety six are millennials. Oh yeah, so you're you're absolutely millennial. See look, how am I supposed to get out of this? What the hell? There's nowhere to jump! Did I save? I don't know if I saved. Like I said, I was going to. There really is nowhere to go. Maybe... Oh, shit. That doesn't seem that far. Oh, man. Maybe I could drop down right there. Oh, God. <laughs> Save. Okay. This can't be a death trap. Please survive. <laughs> oh, she did not survive. In fact, her legs are very broken. Come on, man. All right. I guess I'll try to make that jump again. Man, that's a... I'm stuck up there. No, there has to be a way down. Anyone know? Is there water, maybe, that I... Oh, there's water. I can jump in the water. Oh, how am I going to do that, though? Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh, let, let's try to land in the water. Take a couple steps back, and then I'll just do a regular forward jump. Oh, <laughs> yes! Okay, we live. Lara Croft lives! Now, question is, how the hell do I get up there to get my stuff? Drop down, hang on the glyphs? It wouldn't let me do that. But I took a nice swim. Zelda! Smooching time. Ah! Elite, were you, were you not a member already? Welcome, well, welcome back to membership. I thought you were still a current member. Thank you very much. It's Mooches from Link. Shit. Ah! ah. <laughs> you guys like that, Link? That's canceled, Link. He can't be acting like that today. <laughs> That's a big no-no. <sighs> yes. No, I had to cancel. I got you. Well, thank you, and uh, welcome back. Thank you for the support, as always. Is this where it came from? I just want to get to that, 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 whatever. That glyph that I unlocked. Sarix, what's up, man? 
Welcome to Lara Croft is stuck in an ancient tomb. Stream number three. Well, excuse me, princess. You know, I I actually had that first, uh, but it didn't go with the footage. <laughs> and I think that part's hilarious, where where he tries to like she's laying on the bed and all tired, and he just comes in like a monster and tries to grab her. Oh man. I don't know if that's ever going to go away. I like that clip. It's so funny. Imagine Link doing that today in cartoon. They would never be able to get away with it now. <laughs> He's always whistling at her and getting slapped. Garg, welcome. Oh. Am I? Oh, I'm back here again. Okay, wait. I'm right back to where I was. All right, we got all the items there. So what we're going to do is drop a save now as a uh, insurance policy. I don't like this Egypt level too much. Damn it. <clears throat> I'm out of life juice. Otherwise known as coffee. Why is Microsoft Edge opening up? Go away. I'm doing great today. That's good to hear. You are you are doing better than Laura Croft right now. Oh! Oh no! I took damage by doing that that stunt. Oh, actually, here. You know how you heal? Look, <laughs> you load your save. That's how you heal. Tricks. They're not just for kids. I want those shotgun shells. Damn it. I wonder what Nintendo thinks of American Link. Like from that cartoon series. I wonder if they look at, watch that show and they're like, that's how we, yeah, that's Link. Or they're like, well, who is that? Because Link has no personality. Oh, I see Shadow. What did that do? Oh! Oh, what the hell? That thing killed me. I feel like I need to use a better gun, but I don't want to waste it on these regular ass Goombas. Damn it. What's the Trick's Rabbit's obsession with Trick cereal? I don't know, maybe he's got diabetes. <laughs> and he just needs the, he needs the uh, sugar or something. I don't know. He's Rabbit. Have you seen anime dudes in Japan be diving after chicks just like Lick? That is true. You do have a point. Okay, so they, I think that door opened. Side to side, side to side. No, no! Man, that thing, every time I confront one of those, it shreds my damn health. What the hell? Have you watched the anime Bastard? No. Never. I've heard of it, I think. Bastard. Uh, what else opened here? What else opened? Here. I don't want to miss anything in there. All right, there's nothing there. Nothing here. Now, if I climb back up here, I could climb up there. Okay, so I was sliding down that. 
whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna start climbing up here. That's what we're gonna do. Bastard's great at it. No, I've never heard of it. Can't say I have. Oh, by the way, those that came in uh, just recently, I do have a... Uh, no, I'm not going to yell at you like DSP to donate money. But <laughs> but uh, I do have a new AI voice. Or I have a couple of AI voices uh, that'll read your messages. We've already had uh, Hercules try to make it say ridiculousness. <laughs> I just don't know if it's going to work, but I think it will. I think I did it right. I know at least the pirate works. All right, where am I going? All right, I think I'm done with this area. Oh, look, look, look. There it is. There it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Well. Oh, I wonder if this is going to open this gate. Rip a Kira Toriyama. Did you guys see that? I'm so mad. Did you guys see that Dragon Ball theme park? They're opening a full-blown Dragon Ball theme park in Saudi Arabia. Not here. I'm so mad. That's like... That's a dream of mine. What the hell opened? I don't know what that did. Oh! Okay, that's one. What the hell was that? Oh! No, I didn't mean to... Oh, I didn't mean to fall. Oh, man. Well, it wasn't a long way up, right? I really didn't mean to do that. Why that country of all places? I'm assuming... Well, you gotta remember, the Saudis have a ton of money. It's not a poor country by any means. They're extremely filthy rich. So they, they probably paid. They probably made a really, really big financial deal with Japan to bring uh, the theme park over there. They have the money. <laughs> they very much have the money to to to, uh, to get that done. But yeah, they're going to have like a 70-foot tall Shenron with a roller coaster on its back. Like It's a full-fledged theme park of Dragon Ball. And, it, like, I saw the, the mock-up. You see Muscle Tower from the original Dragon Ball. They freaking, uh... They got uh, Beerus' Planet from Super. There's a whole trailer. You can see that. They have a trailer for it. I'm genuinely jealous. I'm butthurt, man. I'm butthurt. Saudi Arabia don't know shit about Dragon Ball. You'd be surprised. There There is several countries outside the U.S. that Dragon Ball is enormously huge. Brazil. Brazil is one of the... Brazil and Mexico, in particular, enormous for Dragon Ball fans. Uh, and, oddly enough, Mortal Kombat. Which is why, like, I remember Mortal Kombat 11, I think it was, had, like, some Brazil, like, soccer outfits. It's because of that. Like, Mortal Kombat is enormous in Brazil. Now we need a Resident Evil theme park. This is what I've been saying for years. We need... No, we don't need a Resident Evil theme park. We need, like, a full-blown video game theme park. Just each land is a different world. Like, you have Castlevania and all that. I mean, it'd be a, a nightmare to get the rights for all this stuff in one theme park. But, uh, I, I mean, Universal already has all the Nintendo stuff. We just need a park that has, like, a smorgasbord of everything else. Everything. That theme park's days are probably numbered, judging with their track record, this type of commercial development. Yeah, I mean, Saudi Arabia's commercial development is very spotty. Because they're def like, they have a ton of money, but they, they always have these huge, elaborate plans. And either it becomes too expensive or they take too long. They, they want to make, like, some mega cities over there. They want to make, like, an esports arena capital of the world. And the buildings look like something out of Tron, and they're enormous. And it's like... But they're out in the middle of the desert, like, trying to build this stuff. So, a lot of it becomes very expensive to maintain. But, yeah, I mean, with how strict Japan is with its licenses, though, I, I can't imagine they would release a whole trailer about that theme park coming without it being, like, pretty set in stone. 
I mean, Japan is very careful when it comes to licensing their shit out. Solution, Capcom land with different franchises like Street Fighter and Resident Evil, yeah. What would they have for Street Fighter, though? Like, what ride would you have? Just have a ring and have people step in and fight each other? Hey, there you go, Street Fighter. Go, fight. In the street. It'd be so metal if a place like Germany had taken a castle and turned it into Castlevania theme park. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, I mean, Konami's not even making Castlevania games. You think they're going to make Castlevania theme park? They're not doing anything. Although, credit where credit is due, they brought back Contra in excellent fashion, in my opinion. I think Contra was awesome. So there is that. They did something. Or they paid someone to do it, I should say. Brazil does have a really significant number of anime, video game, and comic book fans. Yeah, and actually... If you saw my reptile video, because uh, I've, I've had several questions about this, there's a part where I show Kai and reptile fighting in Mortal Kombat 4 from a comic book. Because everyone always knows the one comic released in the U.S. There was an official comic released exclusively in Brazil. That goes into even more detail of what the characters are doing during the events of Mortal Kombat 4. And it has reptile sneaking up on Kai and Kai annihilating him. But yeah, that was exclusive to the Brazil comic book that most people don't even know existed. How did I get out of here? I don't know how I got out of here before. There's nowhere to go. Was there somewhere I could climb up here? Biggest nerds in the nation, USA, Brazil, Japan, Mexico, too. Mexico's huge with a general nerddom. Oh, it changed this into steps. Okay. Oh, that looked cool until I messed up. I have issue one of the Malibu Mortal Kombat comic with a holographic cover. Man, I would love to have that. I wonder if that's expensive to get your hands on now, like on eBay or something. Can't imagine it's worth a lot. I like Brazilian women. Who doesn't? I had a Brazilian ex-girlfriend a while ago. She was also a lunatic. <laughs> Hence the word ex-girlfriend. She was out of her damn mind. A story for another time. Where am I going? I'm so lost, man. Oh, I did jump in the water, didn't I? Before. Let me save up here. Oh, good. I thought I was going to make it. Is this still Tomb Raider 1? Yes. Yes, it is. Remember, guys never date crazy? Yeah, but sometimes... Here's the problem, though. Sometimes people present themselves as normal. And then when you're already in there, it's you're, you, a couple months later, you're just like, oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> like Anakin Skywalker after he chopped off Mace Windu's arm. What have I done? Is that the same chick who was jealous of you and all that? I remember. No, no, that was a different one. But also a very extreme jealousy issues. It's very similar issues, but that's a different person that you're talking about. She was just regular white American Caucasian. The, 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 the person I dated who happened to be Brazilian was a lot, a lot worse. It, it was crazy. Ah! Like, it, it was the kind of situation, just to give a brief summary, because if, it, it, I won't go into detail because it's just a story that would take, like, two hours of, of, of my time, but it was one of those situations where, like, when, when I worked at Best Buy, <laughs> uh, after, obviously, I, I was the one that initiated a breakup, 
And then afterwards, for months on end, this person would show up at my job and just act crazy and, it just, like, beg for things to go back to the way they were. And it was over at that point, but, like, to the point where I almost got fired from my job because my boss kept telling me that I can't have people come into the job like that. It's like, I'm not, but I, I wasn't even doing anything. Like, I was, I was the victim. So it's like, what the hell, man? So it was one of those situations. Like, stop showing up at my job. No. Damn, I feel like I missed so much stuff. Is that a kangaroo? That? No. That was a... What was that? A jackal? I think it's a jackal. Like, like Anubis. We're, man, I've already been in this level for almost an hour. Alright, let's, let's check room by room here. So we should not be taking this on. Oh! No, no, no! Oh, you son of a bitch. Where did I save? I feel like I haven't saved in a bit. I don't even know if I should be doing this. There we go. You could have explained to your boss about your situation. Perhaps get a restraining order. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with all that. Well, no, the boss situation, I did. But, you know, bosses don't care. They... I was working at a retail job. They're just like, well, you know, you got to do something because that's not acceptable. It's like, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> just like flick my magic finger and like the person disappears? I'm so lost. It was funny too because uh, like av after we had broken up, like not that long after I met my now wife and they happened to have the same name with one letter different and their names are not common first names. They're not like Alice, you know, it's my wife and her both have very unique names and they were, they, they were off by one letter and it was the weirdest thing. <laughs> very bizarre. Yeah, no, so luckily my wife isn't crazy. Well, I mean, sometimes she'd be crazy. <laughs> we all can be, though. But, uh, yeah, they were one letter off. And even then, I was like, oh, sh that's weird. Because, again, it's not a, like a regular name. It's it's a very unique name. I want to know how to get back to where I was, man. Where I got the glyph and I fell and I didn't mean to. I want to save over there. It's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> I wish there was a waypoint. I know I'm acting like a spoiled modern gamer, but shit, man. Just have a little waypoint. Joe, welcome. Welcome to the Lara Croft is Lost stream. Quiet stream today. Well, there's not a lot of music. Someone said that last Tomb Raider stream too. There's not a lot of music here in this this uh, this game in general. See, I wanna wait. How did? See, all right. Let, let's look at this. This is where I want to get to right here. How did I get here before? Oh. And then, there we go. Okay, it's that room right up there. Thank you, uh, Photomo Drone. Got back from seeing Ghostbusters earlier. Oh, don't say anything. I'm seeing it tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I bought uh, some tickets for me, my wife, and my son. Uh, I wanted my daughter to go, but she's like, ugh, that's stupid. And I was like, "How?" she does it just to bother me. She's a little girl. She's like, I don't care about Ghostbusters. And I was like, oh, you, you are risking me to... To what do they call it? Where you abandon your children? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go get milk and not come back. 
<laughs> She's staying at, at, at the grandparents' house babysitting while I go watch it. But I, I wanted to go see it in Dolby. I'm going to see it in like a Dolby theater with really good surround sound. I usually go to movies, like my cheap local theater for $5 on like Tuesdays, but for Ghostbusters, like I, I want to go to the good surround sound at the good theater. So I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm so excited for it. From what I've heard, um, generally is that the critics are not liking it too much, but the fans are comparing it to like the Ghostbusters cartoon. And if that's the case, I, uh, I don't, would, would you say that's accurate for those that have seen it without spoiling anything? Damn, she dislikes Ghostbusters. She doesn't know anything about Ghostbusters. She's just messing with me because she knows I like it. <laughs> That's what she does. But she wants to go watch Godzilla and Kong with me. And I was like, all right. So I'll, I'll accept that. It was pretty fun. Not as good as Afterlife. It's still very engaging. Yeah, I'm pumped, man. I, I can't wait. I'm definitely going to buy the, uh, the cool popcorn bucket if they have one. There wasn't much marketing for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I feel like there's not a lot of marketing lately for movies generally. Godzilla vs. Kong has had pretty strong marketing. Borrego, thank you for 40 months of membership. A big 4-0. All right, this is what I wanted to get to. All right, let's turn on the classic graphics. And let's do some examination here. Oh, there's a mummy right there. All right, so we get to this area. I know this is a little cheating, but I don't care. If critics don't like it, that means it's good. It's yeah, good point. Oh, look. Okay, wait a minute. So I can bring I could pull one of these rocks, maybe. And then climb up there in the main room. Alright, so we know how to get that one. I came from Alright, now let's see how to get to here. We know how to get to that other one. This area. Just follow the trail. Follow the trail. And all questions will be answered. How the fuck? So basically we gotta get to this room. How do we get in here? Tis the question. I don't see an entrance here. Maybe the entrance is up here. See, this is this is true investigative mode. How the hell? All right, old graphics. Oh, look. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Entrance. No. Yo, I do not see an entrance for this room. What the fuck? Maybe it's just through here. Oh! Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. I just have to cross over here. Alright, let's go. You know what? Just in case. Drop that save, baby. Drop that save. You gotta beat this man. Well, that that's the idea. <laughs> that is the idea. This shall be beaten. Will it be beaten tonight? I do not know. But we'll see. Do you get revenue for YouTube Shorts? Oh, Elite, I was talking about that earlier. I, I looked it up. You got to keep in mind, YouTube Shorts are tiny little things. So any revenue is like literally pennies. Which is like... Which I don't understand why people put that much energy into Shorts. Like they're not going to do it. They're not going to pay your bills. But uh, my lifetime revenue, which is all the revenue I've gathered since I started doing shorts, and some of them have decent views, um, and I started them in, like, uh, January, something like that, of last year, uh, about $7. So, like a McDonald's meal. <laughs> that took a year to work towards. So, yes, but you might as well say no, basically, is the answer to that question. What is the point of these chairs? You know what? I bet you there's a trophy, like, to sit on them or something. I bet you. 
I'm gonna try it. But first, I'm gonna save. Cadigan, what's up, man? How'd the rest of your Injustice stream go? Did you finish it? How's your trip in Egypt so far? It sucks, man. I don't like this Egypt area. Got a lot of puzzling and such. Whole $7, I know, all right? By the way, for those that have not seen X-Men 97 yet, I don't say this lightly, and I said this on Twitter. It's a straight-up 10 out of 10. I'm not even shitting you. Like, if you grew up watching X-Men in the 90s, and you watch X-Men 97, like, it just feels like you picked up the TV and it's another Saturday morning with a new episode. Like, it's so good, man. <laughs> It's gonna kill me! Come on, dick! Die exploding by me! Oh what? No! Uh you know what? I, I better I better get my shotgun out. I'm <laughs> I know I'm being stingy with my ammo. I'm resident. I'm resident at Eveling, uh, this game. Apparently. <laughs> Don't lie, this man streams from a toilet. That'd be very convenient. What the hell? Are those abominations? Those are mummies. In reality, they're Atlanteans. Atlantean mummies. Because Atlantis is linked to these other ancient civilizations in this world. But yeah, they're supposed to be mummies. But they're like red and muscular looking things. Like organic looking things that explode. For some reason. I mean, they're classic video game enemies. Of course they explode, right? Shotgun for the win. Oh, out of ammo. Alright. Got him. Wonder what storylines X-Men 97 going to use. Uh, they're definitely pulling from the comics. These first two episodes, um, they're definitely pulling from like the Executioner storyline. And uh, the trial of Magneto. But they're doing their own like original spin on things like the X-Men 97 show did back in the day. But I like that they're still pulling from comics. Some of them from later, actually. After the series had already ended. So what was the point of coming down here and finding these mummies? So was it pointless? Elite, thank you for the membership gifted to... Who shall get it? Who shall be blessed by the magical hands of Elite? Char, you have been blessed. <laughs> you have been gifted a membership by the big, the big E. Thank you very much. Thoughts on the teaser for Alien Romulus? That looks outstanding. I, I, it looks amazing. It looks way better than anything we've had in a long time. And I like the fact that they're ignoring both Covenant and uh, Prometheus. They're just doing classic alien style thing. That's all you have to do. Alien doesn't need to be complicated. I like they put Sunspot in the spotlight. Spotlight. Yeah, I thought that was cool because the original show started with them saving Jubilee. And now they did the same thing with another character. So it's interesting they did that. I don't understand what the point of fighting those mummies was. Was I just being punished for going down there and exploring? But there's an alien show coming out on FX, right? Because that's separate from Romulus, I believe. Magneto's fashion choice to be the, to the Big M is something... I hate that new costume. That's one thing, but it is, I forgive it because 
they didn't make it up for the show. That's actually what he wore in the comics when he uh, was was not so evil and he was trying to be with the mutants and Charles Xavier and all that. And he was helping run like uh, X Men and X Factor and all that. The um, the new mutants. That's where um, he they really um, use that costume in the original New Mutants run. So they're just kind of fusing that into 90s X-Men. So it, it, in reality, in the comics, that costume was a different era. But, uh, yeah. I mean, if it's in the comics, I'm fine with it. But it is ugly. I don't like it. I like his classic suit. That's his, hey, I'm not such a bad guy suit. Wasn't the Alien show canceled or still in development? From what I heard, it's still happening. It's just a separate project than the, the movie. Than Romulus. At least it showed the helmet on the shelf. Yeah. And I don't believe for a second that Magneto's not going to go back to his old ways. In time. <laughs> Something's going to happen to send him over the edge. Yeah, in the intro we see him in his OG. That's how, yeah, like I said. I think he's going to get back to his classic ways. Eventually. It is kind of a cool twist on the story. Seeing him like. Uncomfortably interacting with the X-Men. Also sad about what happened to Aurora in episode two. Yeah, I think they'll undo it, though. They're doing it for drama purposes. Say executioner's an asshole. Where was I going? What, how, what was I doing here? What was, I forgot what I was trying to get to. Was it here? It was over there. Oh, look, switch. All right, how do I get to it? Oh, fuck, how do I get? Okay, so I have to climb this, drop down, and jump there. This is bullshit, man. Okay, so I have to get I have to get up here. It's so frustrating this game. I love it, but sometimes, man, they, these games drive you nuts. Wouldn't be I wish they could remaster is the old Matrix games. Oh, I'm assuming that would be a, a licensing nightmare though. Cause weren't they Activision games? So they'd have to get the license for the movie universe again. And the studio to sign off on it. I don't see it happening. Damn it. Magneto was bad guy, but not all evil. Well, it, it, Magneto is the perfect representation of that uh, archetype of a character where he thinks he's the hero of his own story. And for every for every terrorist is a freedom fighter to someone else. Right. That that's Magneto. The, the people that oh fuck the people that support him see him as a freedom fighter essentially, fighting for mutant rights. But then the rest of the world might see him as a mutant terrorist. So he just he really is a perfect villain. He's a villain that like, yeah he's done plenty of bad things, but at the same time you understand his character and why he's driven to that. And he himself is conflicted because he has his friend Charles Xavier that's the complete opposite of his beliefs. And he's been proven right at times, too. So, Magneto is very much one of those characters that shades of gray. I mean, he's just a really well-written character when done right. I see. The jump is so delayed. I swear I hit jump. I swear I did. Son of a bitch. This is so frustrating. All right, let me get... Where am I going? I have to get down, right down there, right down here. Let's try this again. 
I heard Romulus takes place some years after Alien Isolation. Does it? I have no idea. I haven't really looked at any of the details. I just knew Romulus was happening. I've, I've been kind of keeping away from knowing too much on what it is. Because I want to be somewhat surprised when I see it. But, man, that'd be cool, though, if it was, like, another version of Alien Isolation, like a movie version with Amanda Ripley. That'd be cool. Michael Fassbender played it well. Oh, Ma Michael... This might not be a popular opinion. I don't know. Ian McKellen played a good Magneto, but I prefer Michael Fassbender Magneto by far. Especially, like, the highlight to me of uh, Michael Fassbender Magneto. If you watch X-Men Days of Future Past, that speech he gives at the end, where he's best basically, like, telling humanity, to, like, you're right to fear us. Like, I'm going to show you just a little piece of my power. Like, he was a terrifying, terrifying villain. Until Mystique uh, betrayed him, but no, he. I I think that was like the highlight of Magneto as a character so far in live action. Like that was a good ass speech. Like it made you want to stand up with him. Like yes, although I'm not a mutant, <laughs> I will I will fight with you in the brotherhood of our kind. Okay, let's do this right. <laughs> And I, I did it wrong. Wait, why couldn't I make that jump? Let me reload. Why am I messing up so much? Let's get this camera again. I hope we get other lesser known villains like Shadow King. I think we will because we, I mean, Shadow King, we, we've gotten him a couple times already. In the in the original series, he was messing with Storm. I remember my dad and I used to play this on PS One. And when she would jump the wrong way, he would yell at the TV. You stupid bimbo! I didn't make you jump that way. Yes, blame the game. Classic gamer strategy. I'm a big fan of it. All right, see you later, Joe. Gonna push through and finish R two replay. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna save. Because I have to make that jump somehow. Look, right here. I gotta make this jump. Yes. Somehow I feel more confident with the jumps when it's uh, the old graphics. And I know it's in my head. Yes. Now. Fuck. Now I have to get back up there. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Is there a shortcut? Nope. I'm just going to have to do it. Do it this way. <sighs> I was saying on my stream that I read someone saying we may get Onslaught, but like you said, we need Xavier. Yeah. Unless they change the storyline, but to get Onslaught, I mean, it's basically a fusion of Professor X and Magneto, like Dragon Ball style. But yeah, I mean, they could change it. I want to see more storylines with the Sentinels, man. I love the Sentinels. They're just so cool. Reg got me going down a rabbit hole trying to figure out Bell Turchica's nationality. Who the hell is Bell Turchica? Is that a Pokemon? Sounds like a Pokemon. Bell Turchica has evolved. Okay. Please don't mess up. Well, the off Trask in episode one. Yeah, I think that was the uh, the big uh, nostalgia introduction to us 90s kids. They're like, hey, look, here's the theme song and they're fighting Sentinels. It's like, all right. Once that fight was going on, I was like, you got me. You got me. <laughs> I rewinded it like three times. It was so good. My wife was in... In, her, in, in in the room working and she was like why do you keep replaying that I hear it and I'm just like I have to it's so good oh that's a Gundam character I would have no idea clearly alright we got this thing too so I'm assuming if I get all four then that door they keep showing me is going to open Drop a save. So you're making some progress. A little bit. 
A little bit. Will we explain how Bishop got there? I was wondering that too, because I don't remember. I got to rewatch the final season. I don't remember what happened. Did Bishop come back in that season, or did they, have they not explained yet why Bishop is back? I like Bishop's short hair, too. He looks cool. I've always been a, char uh, a fan of Bishop, though. I think he's an awesome character. All right, now we got to go back to that original room, I believe. If I can fucking find it. I'm tired of this area. I'm sick of it. Okay. So, that door opened. I have to be able to push this. Yes. Okay, I can. She's using that booty strength. I've seen people say Bishop looks kind of like a method man. <laughs> I can kind of see it. It's the haircut. I'm a fan of Cable. Yeah, Cable's such a cool character. The ending, though, of episode two of X-Men, like, ended on such a mind-blowing cliffhanger. I was like, what? Although, if you read the comics, like, if you read them back in the day, you know exactly what's going on. To me, Cyclops is an arrogant leader, especially in the comics. Oh, yeah, very much. Well, they, he, he was almost, he was borderline mutant terrorist along the lines of Magneto at one point. When they were really trying to make him, like, a, a, a badass. Um, in all honesty, though, uh, X-Men 97 Episode 1 and 2 showcases uh, Cyclops way better than any live-action representation it has as of now. Like, they made, in these two episodes, they were like, oh, he is the leader of the X-Men right there. And this is why. It's such a good job. The movies haven't represented that. In, in the movies, you, you might as well. Oh, fuck. Did I save? In the movies, you might as well make Wolverine the leader of the X-Men over Cyclops. Like, they, they just, Cyclops is not represented well in the movies. To me. Aside from his powers. But it's not hard to represent a guy that shoots lasers out of his eyes. I get it. Someone in the comments is going to be like... Actually, they're not lasers. They're optic blasts. They're lasers. They're eye lasers. Alright? Same shit. What's your favorite costume of Cyclops? That 90s one, man. You can't go wrong with it. It's just perfect costume. It's amazing. <gasps> oh, I almost walked right off that edge. I felt it. I still have one more, though, that I don't know how to get to. What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, I'm assuming I need that one last one. Do you think Gambit is the third Summer's brother? No. He's definitely not. Gambit is not a Summers. See, how do I open this? All right. We are going to have to turn on the old camera. I feel like I've seen everything. I feel like I've traveled everywhere. I can show you the world. Have I been up here? Oh, shit. Wait. Wait, how do I get here? This is it. How? The f Uh... I am not sure how to get over. Um, all right. So I'm assuming this, I got to turn that into step somehow. Star Jammers, the OG Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Damn, I actually look crazy. Hold on. I used to love the Star Jammers. They were just cool space pirates. Ah, 
Take a step back. Take a step back. Breathe. Now walk. There. Stop. Turn. Turn. Jump. I'm saving right here. This is the room. This is the key to all my problems right now. I have so many saves. Look at that. 154. Oh, shit. How's the animation for the show? I think it looks good. And, and Rogue's booty looks fine in motion. <laughs> if you're not watching the show because you saw one still frame on Twitter that looked like a pancake butt, uh, you're, 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 you're missing out. I don't know what to tell you. It's a good show. So in an alternate universe, Gambit was Scott's brother, but he was created by Mr. Sinister to fight Apocalypse. Yeah, that's when he... Uh, or I like the storyline whenever Gambit was uh, turned into death. One of the horsemen by Apocalypse. Apocalypse is an asshole. I love him as a villain, though. He's always just stripping people of their free will and turning them into his... his, 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 his uh, minions. All right, so I have to be able to. <sighs> Damn it. See, I got to turn this into steps somehow. I think. But if I do that, I don't know. How am I going to get back up here? Got to put a thinking hat on. See, I can't jump that either. That's the only way. Like, I have to turn this into steps, right? And then jump over there. That's it. I have no other... All right, let's experiment here. Because I turned this into steps. Damn you, Lara Croft. Who told you to go on these adventures? I mean, some Avengers... Huh, are That's true. Some Avengers have been mutants. Beast, Wolverine. There's been a couple of them. Oh, wait. Did I do it? Is it steps now? Maybe I did it. No. What did that do? I'm so confused. This game blame Nala for hiring Lara. Yeah, it is true. It is her fault. Maybe I'm not sure what that switch does anymore. I thought I knew what it did. Anyone have any ideas? I don't see any other way to do it. Like the only I have to get up there somehow. Or unless I come through here from another way. Maybe that's it. Look at all this. There's a bunch of switches and shit. Yeah, I'm right next door to where I need to go, too. See, this looks suspicious to me. I wonder if that opens that out of curiosity. We must examine. It's pissing me off. All right, let's see if that door's open. Who's here? 
No, what does that switch do? <clears throat> Possible enemy on top? Oh yeah, it's 100% that mummy's gonna come to life as soon as I get up there. Long shot's so cool, yeah. He's over in Mojo World, though. They'll have to bring Mojo back. We already know Mr. Sinister's gonna come back, because you see him in the little title screen intro. When Morph has his little intro, you hear him laughing. I am so lost. I it, What sucks, too, is I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I just don't know how to get to it. Watch me just be able to walk up that slope, and I'm, I'm sitting here wasting time. Let's see. Longshot's a member of X Factor? Yeah, but in the animated series, I think he's still in Mojo World, wasn't he? Still in Mojo World last? Didn't X Factor guest star in one episode? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna save before I jump. If only I could walk up this damn thing. That's the episode Iceman shows up. I thought that was weird what they did with Iceman. Because I'm just used to Iceman being in the X-Men. And yeah, he was just like a guest appearance in an episode. But they did that for a couple of X-Men. Like uh, Colossus and Nightcrawler. Psylocke. They're just like guests in the show. I like seeing them as part of the team. I don't know what to do. I can't go anywhere else, though. Like, this this is the room I have to figure out. Hey, look. Oh. Ugh, I don't want to look it up, either. It's so quiet in this area. I wish they had some music, at least. Just like at least the theme song, like playing very softly in the background. It's just dead silence. Icepan's not gay, never has been, never will be. Where is he? Oh, uh, they, they made the younger version of him gay, right? The younger one from the other universe. They made a uh, Colossus gay too, an Ultimate X-Men. And then Nightcrawler had problems with it. I smell was Dane Polaris and was all jealous. Yeah, I remember that. Whatever happened to that young version of the X-Men? Did they go back to their universe or something? I gotta look this up. I have no idea what to do. Alright, this is the what? The obelisk of Kamun? Let's see what they tell us. Obelisk of Kamun. All right, level 11 guide. Four drawbridges. Didn't they scrap it? Yeah, that that was part of that like Marvel Now initiative they were doing. Uh, I'm not sure what that happened with. This whole guide looks all the same. Okay, here we go. It's the slide room. After using the switch as described, the long side leading down from the top of this room will now be a set of blocks. We did that. In case you missed that switch, it's just outside at the top of the steps. At the top, turn right and take a running jump to grab a narrow horizontal crevice. Uh, traverse there and drop into golden blocks. Wait, what? How the f wait a minute. All right. In this guide, I'm looking at. See, look, this guide I'm looking at. See, I was right. It's showing this. This right here. It's turned into steps. I, so there's a switch that turns this into steps somehow. That's where I'm stuck. All right, in uh, 
the long side of the will now be a set of blocks. In case you miss the switch, it's just outside at the top of the steps in the northeast corner of the column and drawbridges area. What? So there must be a switch I missed. So it's got to be up here. It said the drawbridge area. So does that mean I have to go back down? I hate this level. It's been here an hour and 15 minutes. More than that. All right. It's outside at the top of the steps in the northeast corner of the column so it's in the corner of this area that switch i didn't know that switch did that all right well fuck all right well we got to get over here again all right so if they're right it's that switch right there at the bottom how would you ever oh my god this is why i never beat these games as a kid it's why I never beat them. Because I'd have to deal with all these frustrations. And then I'd get pissed off. And then I'd go play like Mega Man. Make me feel better. Well, you don't have the Brady Games Guide? Yeah, apparently I need that. So it's this switch? I didn't know that's what this switch did. Well, let's see. Okay. See, how would I know that that switch did that? It just makes a noise. <laughs> you would not know where that was coming from. Damn it. All right. Let's save. <sighs> Progress, right? One inch at a time. I had to resort to the, uh, the, the interwebs. All right, let's do this right. Watch me fall to my death now. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I, I just saved. Ho ho! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Now I gotta go all the way around. Never expected Sh Colossus and Shadow Cat to become an item back then, yeah. Colossus is one of my favorite actors. I love that character, man. He's so cool. That's why it's so disappointing that he's not in there. I hope they add him. I, I hope that what they do with X-Men 97, if it does well, I hope they do more seasons and slowly bring in more members to the team. Maybe do, like, a separate team, too. Because, you know, in the X-Men, they have, like, gold team and blue team, different colors. Like, do that. Make, like, separate X-Men teams and have, like, Psylocke and Colossus up in there and shit. Be badass, man. All the guest characters. I need to get more X-Men Funkos. Yeah, I like those classic X-Men. I don't think I have any of the classic X-Men. I would love them. I would love the whole set. All right, now this is going to turn these into steps. There we go. See? Slowly but surely, problems are solved. Problems are solved. Psylocke is best girl. She's my favorite X-Men female. I thought it was I, I thought that was cool in the show when uh morph turns into her and I was like oh hell yeah I lost it though one part when <laughs> morph they're in the nightclub and morph turns into pregnant Jean and he's completely Wolverine and he says that he calls Cyclops the most boring man in the world so funny I always like morph because he's just like that good friend that always wants to hang out with you. And all he does is just talk shit. <laughs> but he's just like a good dude. And uh, does anyone remember how Morph came back? That's what I don't remember. Because I remember Morph, they thought he was dead. And then it turned out that Mr. Sinister had like brainwashed him, right? But how did he come back to the X-Men? 
I don't remember that happening. Was that something that happened in the final season previously? I don't see. I don't remember those details. The way is open, folks. The way is open. Rejoice. Rejoice and celebrate. Mr. Sinister brought him back. Yeah, but how did he end up back with the X-Men? That's what I don't remember seeing. Because in this show, they act like he's been back with the team for a while now. I don't, I don't remember that happening. Hope we get a proper Deadpool appearance. Oh, how cool would that be? Considering that he did appear in an X-Men comic first. Finally. Finally. There we go. See, if you guys ever play these games, you can always use these streams as a very long... Let's call it a long-form guide. <laughs> like, you'll, it'll take you a while, but you'll get there eventually. Or, of course, you could just look up an actual guide, but don't do that. Watch my streams. <laughs> just, just do it. Do you think other heroes will appear in X-Men 97? Maybe. I mean, they already have new villains that popped up. So why not? And we already had Sunspot. The Sunspot was already there. So it's like, we already are getting new characters. I'm sure we'll get more. Well, if you watch the ending, there's a very much new character. Oh, no. Am I going to drown? I should have stopped to collect shit. Oh no! I didn't save! No one told me to save. I blame you guys. <laughs> damn it. Are you kidding me? I'm saving before I go in the damn water. Fuck. Come on. I mean, other heroes like Spider-Man, Hulk, and Iron Man? Oh, well maybe. I hope so. There was a Daily Bugle reference. We saw a newspaper that said Daily Bugle on it. So you know Spider-Man's running around somewhere swinging. I can't believe I didn't say... See, they need auto-saves. My auto-save, my checkpoints. Damn it. I'm not going to lie, I uh, I want to get the uh, Lego Blackbird. I saw it at Walmart and almost got it. <laughs> it's so cool. I want classic Lego uh, Mar X-Men 97 Legos. Oh, by the way, um, I mean, I'll remind you guys again, but uh, next Friday, uh, there will not be a stream. I don't know if I'm just going to skip it or... Um, Oh, fuck. I gotta say before I get there. I don't know if I'm gonna skip it or schedule it for a different day. We'll see where the week takes us. Uh, my, my daughter's on spring break. Well, both my kids. Uh, my daughter's on spring break, so um, next Friday we're actually taking her to Legoland. My wife wanted her. She's been wanting to go there. I've never been to... Le Anyone been to Legoland here in Florida? I've never been to Legoland. I've heard it's more for, like, the younger kids, like, the rides. But they have, like, roller coasters and shit. We're going to stay there for two days. We're going to go to Legoland and then the Lego Water Park the next day. Uh, it's crazy how much cheaper it is going there than, like, Disney. Significantly cheaper. But there's probably a reason for it. I'm sure it's kind of janky. I don't know. But I may or may not buy some Legos while I'm there. I may come home with X-Men 97 toys. <laughs> it's a there's a a, a 60 40 possibility that that might happen i don't know we'll see what fate decides but yeah we'll be going there friday so monday i'll be streaming final fantasy 7 rebirth stream number three uh and then um 
maybe what I'll do, maybe on a, another day in the week, maybe I'll, I'll just finish Vice City Stories or something. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Dude's excited for Lego Land, so his grown ass when he looks at a Lego Death Star. Man, I wish I could afford Lego Death Star. You know what? No, fuck that. You know what my dream Lego set is? I saw it at Disney Springs in the Lego store, and I will never be able to afford it. Uh, it goes for a lot more now on, online because of the, it's clearanced out. It's not on a... You can't find it in stores anymore. But it's like it was like $800, and it was the Star Destroyer. And it was like, I mean, it's enormous, enormous set. I want that so bad. Fuck the Death Star. I want that big Star Destroyer. That thing's cool. Unfortunately, it will never be mine. Tragically. X-Men Jet Lego, 70 year locally. Yeah, I think it's about 70 or 80 bucks here, too, at Walmart. I was holding it. I was holding it, and my wife comes by. She, she was looking for me because she was grocery shopping. And, of course, I, I was like, I'm going to go to the toy section with other grown-ass adults floating around away from their wives. And she comes over. I, I can hear her because you just know if you're married, like, you hear your wife. Like, they'll make certain noises that you'll recognize. So I hear her coming, and then she looks at me, and I'm sitting there holding it. She's like, don't. You know you don't need that. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like all the power. All my power to not get it. I want it. The Star Destroyer? Well, yeah, look it up. Look up Lego Star Destroyer. But there's several different kinds. The, you'll know what it is. It's enormous. And it's like, it's got to be like thousand plus dollars at this point. Because it's raised in value. Yeah, I would love to put it together and like, put like some strong adhesive so it can never fall apart and like, Hang it from the ceiling with like several fishing lines. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Tell you, you know, like you're a kid, I know. And then, of course, my daughter wants to jump in. She's like, Dad, you don't need that. I'm like, be quiet. <laughs> what do you know? You're seven. Like, you don't tell me what I need. Looks so good. Like, wire up some, like, LEDs on it and shit. Make the engines light up. Ooh! So much. You do so much. Let's try not to drown this time. Oh, shotgun shells! I have to. Alright, go, go, go. The collectathon's over. I wish I was rich. <laughs> Don't we all? I wish I'd go to Publix and buy, like, scratch off and win a couple thousand dollars. At least. Oh, barely made it. Barely made it. You know what else I want? I want that Rivendell set. The, the Lord of the Rings where the elves live. I think it's like 500 bucks. It's like, fuck. I would love that set. Build it and then just stare at it while playing the Lord of the Rings music. <laughs> -na 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 -na. What am I getting the Sanctum Sectorum and the Avengers Tower sets to go on the Daily Bugle? Oh, you got that Daily Bugle one that's like on fire or something? Wasn't there one that's like on fire and it's like Spider Man fighting different villains? Why are they causing trouble near the Daily Bugle? Can't they go somewhere else? <laughs> I hate those mummies. Hate them. You know what would be cool with a full-scale Lego of Darth Revan? Yeah, they... Man, Lego, they do a lot of really good Star Wars sets. Like, they, man, they have so much Clone Wars stuff. They got, like, the ATT tanks and shit. They have so much Clone Wars stuff. I want, like, an army. My own little army of clones. Made out of Legos. <laughs> and then I'll just display them forever. T 
took two hours, but we're almost at the end of this level, I think. I believe. Please let me out. Alright, what's here? We got a med pack there. We got another mummy down there. What even are those? I mean, they're mummies, but I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like monster people. Whoa, how did I... How the hell did it reroute all the way over here again? Oh, that... Whoa, that's that one entrance from the beginning. Oh, shit. That was wild. Crazy how it all worked out. Oh! 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 Please! I can't see it. I don't know if I'm hitting anything. That was close. Still need to get more piece for that Lego Metal Gear. My god. Yeah, Caddy, I saw that site that you were telling me about, and I was looking at that. I put it on my favorites, on my bookmarks, on my internet browser, the, the Metal Gear one. I would love to have that. Build a, I, but I looked at the price. It was kind of pricey. <sighs> Lego Metal Gear is so awesome. You know what's a weapon that could surpass Metal Gear? A Lego Metal Gear. Jason, welcome. Need a Lego set for Robocop and Terminator? No, you know what Lego sets they need that I would go probably bankrupt over? Zelda. If they made, like, the, all the dungeons, like, you could imagine all the individual dungeons as Lego sets. Like, it'd be over. <laughs> my, my, my bank count would be over. All right, well, we're back here again. Oh, that was where all these were. Okay. See, I, I like this in video games when puzzles all seamlessly connect like this to previous areas. That's so cool. They make it so epic also. Which Zelda timeline you want as Lego? I want all of them as Legos. All of them. If I had to pick one set, though. One set. What would I choose? You know what would be cool? The Shadow Temple. But I would want it with, like, actual, like, LEDs and lighting on it, too. And then you could have Bongo Bongo. Have, like, purple lighting on it and stuff. That'd be so cool. I don't know how they would do it, but... Maybe you would have to buy multiple kits to, like, connect it all together. Kind of like the Mario courses that they do. I'm not a big fan of the Mario Legos, to be honest. Because a lot of them are just different random kits. That aren't representing anything in particular from the games. It's all just random, like, courses. I'm not a huge fan of them. Finally! God! Level took forever! Holy crap. We're still not done with Egypt. I think this is the last Egypt level, though. What is this one called? Sanctuary. This is Sanctuary. <clears throat> the recent Sonic Legos do look good. Those do look really cool. I want Chemical Plant Zone. They did do Sonic? Yeah, they have official Sonic Legos. But again, we need Zelda. And Metroid. And Castlevania. All right, this time, let's make sure everything goes smoothly and let's not get lost in the puzzles. All right. <laughs> this time. All right, well, I need that.
Oh. Unbandaged mummies. No chance. Assholes. Got him. Have you played Link's Awakening Remake? Uh, I think I streamed it. Yeah, I streamed it when it first came out. Yeah, it's really good. It's fantastic. Thanks for the compound bow advertisement. Always knew YouTube would find ways to tell you miss the Hawkeye hat. Wait, you had an advertisement for... Wait, hold on. Did you just get an advertisement during the stream? Because you shouldn't be getting any during the stream at all. At least not that I'm controlling. Shit. I heard that. Mummy's alive. I still have my Hawkeye hat, actually. I keep it just as a memento from when I first started my channel, but, like, it's all beat the hell up. Because it's, like, that fake leather. Like, the side of it's, like, all peeled off, and it's just not in good condition. I want another one so bad, but I can't get one. Because it was Age of Ultron merchandise. They don't make it anymore. And the only ones you can find are, like, used eBay ones where... People have been rubbing their sweaty ass heads all over it. It's gross. Shit, my head was sweating on it for a while, too. I know what it's like. Probably doesn't have YouTube Premium. Oh, well, no, it doesn't matter. Because I, I don't have advertisements on during the stream. I have them set to manual control. I got here when the ad came in when the stream was loading. Uh, Could have been a pre-roll. Yeah, sometimes YouTube will run the pre-rolls. Regardless of streamer input, of course. Whoa, why is it shooting at me? Okay, you want to go? Let's go. You want to tango? Let's tango. Remember the Where's Waldo cartoon? There was a cartoon for Where's Waldo? I don't know if I remember that. You know a cartoon I used to love? Uh, Where in the World's Carmen San Diego? I always thought, every episode, I always thought they were going to catch her. And, and she was so dastardly, like, they would never catch her. <laughs> she was a shifty one. I remember the Rambo cartoon, Rambo and the Forces of Freedom. Because that's perfect property to uh, advertise to children. Narrated movie about a, a veteran, a war veteran suffering from severe PTSD. See, why does music randomly start like this for no reason? They should be playing it the whole time. I'd be terrified if I was Lara Croft. Being in these tombs, I'd be like, how the fuck do I get out of here? Like, how do I get back home? In Europe and UK, we call it Where's Wally. I don't remember that. What What was it about? Like, they were just trying to find him in every episode because he keeps going missing? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, what, how do you do a, a Where's Waldo cartoon? Ah. I think I'm supposed to go here. Do you watch an old 80s cartoon called Silverhawks? Oh, oh my god. Uh, Partly human. No. Isn't it partly robot, partly real Silverhawks? <laughs> it's so good. I love Silverhawks. I want a live action movie of that. 
partly human or partly robot, partly real. Silver Hawks. And then you hear the eagle in the background. They're the hawk. And that horrible Sega CD game based on it. Wait, off what? Are you talking about Power Rangers? Because that had a horrible Sega CD game. Where it was literally just an episode of the show with buttons imposed over it. And it doesn't even matter if you press them. It still progresses. It's so shit. It's not even a game. Damn it. And I know you guys make fun of me for bringing it up all the time. But. Dino Saucers. <laughs> it's a... I, I know some of you are tired of hearing about it, but I'm not even shitting you. If you haven't heard it yet, you'll thank me. Look up Dino Saucer's theme. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I want toys. And a video game. And a movie. I want all the merch. Have you seen Thundercats 80s cartoon? Of course. Who hasn't seen them? If you if you are from the 80s and 90s and have not seen Thundercats, then you're definitely a late 90s kid. You get all these late 90s kids like, oh, I was a 90s kid. Like, when were you born? Oh, December 31st, 1999 at 11.59 p.m. It's like, you're not a 90s kid, dude. <laughs> that is very much a 2000s kid. Together with their secret scout. Oh, shit. That was my bad. Together with their secret scouts, they fight against the forces of the Tyrannos. What's his name? Tyranno? Genghis Rex. And the Genghis Rex and the Tyrannos. And then, uh, yeah, uh, Mighty Orbots. Go, Mighty Orbots. I love those 80s themes. Nitaku, are you here? I know we've talked about how spending late nights just listening to all the 80s cartoon themes that uh, YouTube recommends. <laughs> From 1982. So you were there during the prime of the 80s cartoons. Thundercats definitely classic. Kind of sucks. The 2000s version of the game. The show got axed after one season. It, they, that was actually a really good show, too. It was actually really good. Oh, look. I need to get up there. Oh! Oh! Castlevania Demon! Monster. The hell did that thing come from? That came out of nowhere. No, no. Oh man. Oh wait, I live. Okay. Was that? Was I supposed to go down here? Shit, what was that door that opened down here? Oh, man. Oh, look at all this. There's shotgun shells. No, I'm reloading. I want the shotgun shells. I'm not leaving without them. Dino Saucers, that was actually a sick intro song. Hell yeah, it was. Dino Saucers. Dun, 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 dun. Dino Saucers. It's amazing. You'll thank me. Definitely ground level, if I recall. Yeah, I gotta. I just gotta be careful with this flying asshole. He made me make mistakes. Why? Where did he even come from? Are you serious? Come on! I I gotta do a running jump over there. 
Did you watch Dino Riders? I don't think so. That one doesn't sound familiar. I'm not sure. I hate these slopes. As much as I hated them in geometry. <laughs> Rogue, you know you love it when I, I break into song. <coughs> it's inevitable like Thanos. It is inevitable. Uh, you can't say dino saucers and not expect me to inform people of the theme song. It's very important to our civilization. All right, let me see if I can do this jump now. You know, I was watching a YouTube video. I, I forgot the YouTube channel, like Toy Universe or some shit. I forgot what it's called. But they were talking about the... the Dino Saucer toy line and how it only really uh, there was only one wave and it only released in of course Brazil so they go for a pretty good amount of money on like eBay and stuff because they just we didn't get them anywhere except Brazil like, that's actually kind of interesting oh look at him look at him look at him he's coming to mess me up oh <laughs> maybe I should forget about those shotguns the shotgun shells. All right, you know what? Now I'm ready. Here, I got you. Take my fucking magnums. Take my magnums. I'm lighting his ass up. Oh, you son of a! I hate you. Let's end this. I rewatched the Dino Saucer intro again, and one of the evil dinos caught the leader, Bossasaur. Yeah, Bossasaur. It was the the Ankylosaurus. I forgot what his name was. He got he he got bullied around. He was like the incompetent one. You always have that. They basically mounted weapons of war on dinosaurs. Sounds like Turok. Turok had like laser dinosaurs and stuff too. Like laser T-Rexes and shit. Alright, come here. Come here. Thank you. Oh wait, that wasn't that bad of a fall. Oh, can't get back up though. I'm going to have to call it quits on the shotgun shells. I, I'm not having luck with the shotgun shells. And I, my ass is not climbing all the way back up there again. Oh, did I flip the switch, though? I think I did, right? Before I saved. How am I going to get back down without getting hurt? I mean, sand. It should be a soft landing. Happy landings. Okay, perfect. Made it. <clears throat> Voltron 84 is an instant classic. Yeah, I remember I had a big-ass Voltron toy when I was a kid. It got all nasty and rusted because we had, like, an outside porch. And we just had it, like, stuffed in, like, a, a plastic tin. <laughs> it definitely messed up. Where is that door? I don't understand. Wait, was it stuffed over here? I saw the door open. Ooh. It's in here. Oh, yeah, look. There's a whole mystery area. I gotta get in. There it is. Oh, it's right behind me. Look, there I am. All right. I had the steel Voltron toy. I lost the green line after I saw Ghostbusters 2 in theaters. It must be a core memory, remembering that specific moment. The new Voltron show was really good. 
I watched it like two or three seasons in on Netflix, and then I fell in my backlog, of course. But I thought that was a good show. Alright, there's ammo. Damn it. Decisions. Sometimes I wish I could, like, control the camera freely. I just want to see what's in front of me. Yeah, I think I get it back up there. I don't like... Latrice, you don't like Ghostbusters? Wait, what do you mean? Like, the movie, the cartoon, or just in general, you don't like Ghostbusters? <laughs> Busted makes me feel good. I love Ghostbusters. Ah. Uh, Alright, I am supposed to... I don't know what to do there. I don't like the movies. Oh, I love the Ghostbusters movies. It's funny how people say Ghostbusters 2 is the bad one, though. It's like, Ghostbusters 2 is not bad. I like Ghostbusters 2. It's goofy. It's fun to watch. Nowhere near as good as the first one, but by far it's 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 very much not a bad movie. I don't think. Ah, there we go. Got it. I need to find my Ghostbusters shirt. I gotta make sure it's clean. I I got a, a, a Ghostbusters shirt at Halloween Horror Nights a couple of years back. I need to wear it tomorrow. Ghostbusters. And I want my Ghost Trap uh, popcorn bucket if they have it. It's an AMC theater, so I don't know. I don't I don't know if they have the special buckets. My local theater usually has special buckets. I think I know the shirt you mean. I've worn it on stream plenty of times. You guys have definitely seen it. It's very bright and colorful. It's black. It's got like Slimer and Stay Puffed. And yeah, it was based off the, the Haunted House at Halloween Horror Nights, which is freaking epic. Ah! Uh! Oh. Would you look at that? I got a goodie. I got a key. The golden key. Okay. Well, now I gotta do something with that golden key, don't I? It's funny, one of the AI voices I have for Super Chats is a witch. I laugh my ass off testing it. It sounds like a, like a medieval witch, like a, telling like an old fairy tale or something. So stupid what AI has come up with. Uh, the other way. Damn it, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Have to be. Might watch Ghostbusters Frozen Kingdom, actually. Yeah, tomorrow, 9 p.m., I'll be watching it. I'm so, I'm genuinely excited. I love the first Bad Boys movie. Oh, Bad Boys 1, 2, and 3 were all great. I love those movies. They're already filming the other one. I actually know someone. I actually know someone in Miami, like, where they were filming parts of the new one. That, uh, outside his apartment window, one of my buddies that, that lives there, he was recording footage of Will Smith running down the street. He showed it to me, too. Like, they're just filming open daylight, obviously, because they're actually filming it there. And uh, he was showing me on his phone. Like, he just recorded out his window. And I don't know what was going on, but you see Will Smith. Uh, or Martin Lawrence was, like, on top of a car or something. Like, sitting on a car. And he was driving, and Will Smith was, like, running behind them. Or, like, to the side or something. So, I don't know. Maybe Martin Lawrence's character gets, like, hit by a car or something in the movie. What the hell am I going? 
Wait, what about AI? I for the super chat revenge. You weren't here before when when I when I had them going. Yeah, the I, I have some AI voices that I I figured out how to how to get some AI voices for the super chats and the donations, and it reads them. I had a pirate voice, and I I added a couple other voices in there. I just don't know if the other voices will work on this stream. Well, they might because it's saved. But I have the AI presidents. There's a witch. Uh, there's uh, something else, too. I forgot. Bad Boy's still not promoted. Yeah. I've only had whispers about the movie from social media. <clears throat> They're probably still really filming it. All right. The gold key. Let's see. I have to put this gold key in somewhere, obviously. All right, there's a switch over here. How the fuck? Okay, I gotta get up here. Oh, look. You would never be able to see this with the... Well, yeah, I guess you can. That's where I gotta go. You got the... Yeah, the AI presidents, I have them on there, too. And it sounds exactly like the... I think I'm on the right way now. Maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> Please let this be the right way. I'm so genuinely tired of sand. I feel like I'm in an endless water temple. Except this is just the sand temple. My God, Grant, thank you for the dollar ninety nine. Let's see if it works. Let's see what voice it gets. I think it's random though, because I have like five or six of them. I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to do it. It might take a moment. I'd buy that for Let's a see. dollar. <laughs> Well, let's see if it works. Was that the pirate? That was the pirate again. <laughs> just... Let me see if the others are checked on there. See, when you have multiples during the stream, I think it'll just uh, play the default one, which is the pirate. Who <laughs> was that? That was a pirate voice. Enabled voices pirate. Yeah, see, I think it just randomly picked him. Let me uh, let me refresh the overlay. You know what? Let me send a test one. I can send a test one. And see if it picks someone else. But I did it. I made the changes while streaming. I don't know if it'll pick them up. Let's see. Here, I'm sending a test. This is a test message. Here, let me test the super chat here. I'd buy that for a dollar. Let's see. <laughs> this is a test super chat alert for $25. <laughs> See, I got to do more research. I don't know if I can have multiple of them, like, going at once. You know what? Let me try something. Here, let me do this. Let me uncheck the pirate. Here, let's do, uh, let, let's do Obama. Let's see if it works that way. Again, I was kind of testing this today. So I might have some hiccups. All right, please enable the voice that's a default. All right, let's do Obama. All right, I'm saving, and then I'll, I'll run it again. I need to switch from stream elements to stream lab. It's going to cut some commands don't show up for me. Yeah, and Cadigan, you could do this, too, on uh, stream elements. It also works for stream elements, if you're interested in that. It scared the shit out of me, the pirate. It's so funny. I love The pirate voice is my favorite one. Let me do a test one again. 
See, I, I just don't know if it's going to work while I'm streaming. I'd buy that Let's see again. <laughs> this is a test super chat alert for $18. See, he's still the pirate. I don't, I don't know if it'll save the changes while I'm streaming. Let me check them again. So for next time, I'll have... Here, let's do Biden. Let's do... Obama. We're going to have all the AI presidents available. The big three. <laughs> Trump, Obama, Biden. We're going to have the witch and the pirate. And hopefully it, sa it saves them. And then the default one will be pirate. God, you can have so much fun with all this, like, all, all these little stream features. It's so ridiculous. The shit you can do nowadays. <laughs> Where the hell is that? Duh! I gotta find that, that door. Oh no, he's coming to get my ass. I hear him. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a slope? Oh yeah, look, that's way down. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that door was. Let me see if this finished saving. On, I'm loading up this other screen here. Uh, yeah, they're all there. Let me send another test one. Things gonna pick the pirate every time. Maybe I'll. Maybe I can only do one at a time. This is I'll a test message. Was that Trump? I think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely Trump. Wait, let me do one more. That is so funny. Here. This is a test message. <laughs> that was definitely the orange fan. So funny. That kind of scared me. It just sounded like a random stranger. So I guess it just randomly picks someone out of the ones you check off because there's a whole list of voices and I checked off the AI presidents, a witch and a pirate. I want Optimus Prime, but you got to pay monthly for a premium membership. I'm not doing that. Where is that door? Anyone know where that door is that opened? Oh, look, it's all the way up here. How on earth? How am I going to get up there without dying? Why are these guns floating in the middle of the air? Okay. I'm going to... Shit. I'm going to have to slowly make my way up there. Velma's getting second season next month? I forgot about that show. I Did that show bomb? I mean, I wasn't interested. It's not Scooby-Doo. Shows like that I want to watch because of Scooby-Doo. I heard your voice on Gaming Bolt when you were narrating about Resident Evil's cringiest moments. Especially about Ramon Salazar. Wait, you heard my voice. What do you mean? Who's Gaming Bolt? Or I, what is, is that a YouTube channel? Like he had my videos playing or? Stop. The floating guns are a series of invisible platforms to get to. Are you for real or are you trying to sabotage me? Well, we'll go look. I'm going to save before I try it. I don't trust you guys. <laughs> Shoot the lake, right? Shoot the lake. I've been sabotaged before. Yeah, I saw some clips around the Velma show, and it's like... I they tried to, like, modernize it with how they act and talk. And it's just like, 
I don't know. I'll stick with Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo growing up. But that show is just it's definitely not for Scooby Doo fans. I'm not exactly sure who that show was was really for. You know who it was for? I can tell you who it was for. What uh, Mindy, the from the office. The the, the the one that produced the show and everything and plays her. Uh, it's for her fans. Because I know people that like her as an actress that are fans of her. I think she has a podcast or something, too. That's who it's for. It's not for Scooby-Doo fans. Because it's not a Scooby-Doo show, period. It's just, it's just not. Hey, oh! <sighs> okay. I'm definitely saving right here. It was this video. Wait, that wasn't you. I thought that was your voice on Gaming Bolt. I don't know. Did he have like something playing where someone was talking about? I, if you're asking me if I was in one of Gaming Bolt's videos, not that I'm aware of. I, I, I didn't. Was it someone that sounded like me? I have no idea. Load. Come in. Oh, yes. All right. I got these shotgun shells. Why do I have this window open? Ah! Almost didn't make it. Elite, welcome back to the party. We made it to the next stage. I think it was more of an IP cash brag, which which is why live action Cowboy Bebop and Avatar Last Bender exist. How is that Avatar show? I've heard that that I've heard mixed things from fans. One of my friends that's a huge Avatar fan hated the live action movie, but he really likes the show. But I don't know. I never really got into Avatar, so I, I wouldn't know. Oh, damn it. Lost health. I just recovered, too. There was somebody that sounded just like you, and I thought you were that voice. Oh, well, like I said, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Unless I got AI'd. By Skynet, you know. Got to be so careful with these. These jumps. Any little mess of them, you're fucked. Ah! Where were those invisible guns? What are these anyway? Are these magnums? Because I already... Oh, those are... What are those Uzis? Oh, what the fuck? Well, damn, I'm far away from that now. I guess I'm not getting them. Damn, there's probably a trophy for it, too. I would assume. Maybe, maybe I'll make my way back. Push! Uh... Nope. <laughs> Netflix show for Avatar is pretty decent. It's average, yet they made some directional changes. Well, from what I heard, the live action movie made plenty of those also. I, I didn't even watch the show, though. I don't know anything about it, really. The hell did I do? I think I have to get up there. Is this a block puzzle? Oh, I didn't realize I could jump up there. 
Yes. Oh, one of the. I heard that before I saw it. Oh, man. All right. Magnum and save. That's what we're going to do. Oh, you can't get me if I'm jumping left to right. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, that's right. Can't stop Laura Croft, son. <clears throat> okay. So now I have to get to the top of the, the Sphinx. I guess. So far, this level's going a bit smoother than the last one, I'd say. Now, how the hell... I guess I do have to go on those invisible platforms that are over there. Oh, I didn't mean... I loaded game. I did not intend to do that. Oh, you son of a bitch! You stupid horse! I hate you. Get out of my life. Ground beef. Here we go. Batman animated series 1992 is one of the greatest things ever in mankind's history. All right, see you later, Wesley. Maybe your wife can start streaming. My wife? She would have zero interest. She's not a gamer. She doesn't She doesn't play video games. I've told her she should start a YouTube channel because I. she's actually really entertaining. I, that's one thing I always liked about my wife. She's a very entertaining person. Just We never have boring conversations. Me and her have a lot of banter among each other. We don't take each other seriously at all. So we just we call each other dude half of the time. <laughs> and we banter a lot. So it's always entertaining. So I told she would she would be good if she started a channel, but I, I think she's more. Um, I don't know. I think she get if people that aren't used to the, this life. Uh, I think they're more like camera shy. I think she's more camera shy. Like every other time I've had her on stream, like she takes like an hour to do her hair and makeup, and I'm like, you know, you don't need to do all that. <laughs> like you're just you're just gonna play video games and talk shit. Like you don't need to do it all. Ah, oh, I didn't save. Damn it. But yeah, more importantly, like she she's not a gamer at all. She does she just doesn't know how to play video games really. Like if you give her Halo with two directional sticks, one to move forward and one to look around, like she's gonna be staring at the ceiling half the time. She even acknowledges that. She would be good doing those, like you know how they have those like family channels and shit with their kids, like. She'd be good at doing that. Because there wouldn't really need to be acting and all that. You know, it'd be just naturally entertaining. But she has no interest. She has like a real full-time job that she likes. Maybe pays decently. So, you know, she's doing her thing. Oh, oh no. How am I going to get out of this? Help me. Uh, I might be fucked. Isn't a family channel risky? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, the the ones that are risky, are, there's a lot of family channels that are fine. But there's those, like, random... At, like, that one that that lady's going to jail now. That, like, she was, like, chaining up her kids and they found out a bunch of craziness. Yeah, there's some crazy people out there. But no, like, like Ryan's World, for example. That was a, just a family channel. He grew up just a kid playing with toys and... <laughs> He's got his own toy line, and the family is like multi-millionaires now. But there's, there's, it's all just, it's innocent content. You just got to disclose that there's kids and it's all legally. With COPPA and, you know, federal regulations require it, which I, I think is important. Yeah, that, that has to be. It has to be reported. <clears throat> family channels, uh, yeah, well, I don't watch them, but we're not the target audience. Most of those channels are the kids that are watching them. 
they do like kids projects and activities and shit and review toys. Yeah, they're meant for kids. That's why, like, not a grown ass man like you or me. Wait, what? What the? Fa you haven't heard anyone know who I'm talking about? I don't know the name of the family. There was a family channel that obviously now is shut down, but the mom is she's she's going to jail for a very long time. Like one of the kids like escaped. She had them like in a compound when they weren't making videos, like starving them. And one of them was like in chains and escaped and went and told a neighbor and the cops came and like she's in deep shit. Anyone know the name of that family? But yeah, she was running like a YouTube family channel and it turns out she's a psychotic woman. She, not, not even a woman. She's a psychotic monster. No, 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 no. Fuck. Eight Passengers? Is that the name of the channel? I, I don't even know the name of the channel. I have no idea. It is Eight Passengers? Okay, yeah. I, I, I heard the story, but I didn't know what the actual channel name was. Uh, yeah, it, it it's crazy. But yeah, I mean, for like every family channel out there, like, there's going to be one or two that are like, yeah, these people need to not be doing this. There was that other family that was, like, making their kids cry and shit on camera. Like, horrible shit. Like, no, man. If, if you're going to have kids be part of, like, a YouTube channel, like, you, you can't be doing shit like that. Like, mistreating your kids publicly. Like, are you kidding me? You need ass beating if you're doing that. Some people have no business being parents. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> My daughter's been wanting to start a YouTube channel, but I, I'm not, I don't let her at this age. Like, me personally, I don't. The only time I would let her have a channel or, like, be on YouTube is if, like, I don't know, like, if she's with me, like, on the channel or, you know, we had some kind of family channel, which I don't plan to, but I'm just giving an example. But, like, her just running her own channel. First of all, you're supposed to be 13, but that's the open one. Parents open channels for their kids all the time, but I, I wouldn't want her, um, like, like running a channel on her own at seven, almost eight years old. Like, no, there, there's a lot of weirdos out there. And kids don't know any better sometimes, and sometimes they'll talk to the wrong people. No. With all the weirdos out there, like, going around collecting cupcakes and shit, no, I'm good. I don't mind her watching YouTube, but, but like, doing her own YouTube thing? No, it's too early. Too early. Ruby Frank, yes, that sounds familiar. That was her name. Come on. There was already um Yeah, there was already an incident the other day that was a little weird to me. That my daughter, she likes playing Roblox on her tablet, like with her little friends at school and stuff. We monitor it all. But like I guess she got in like a like a public lobby or something and someone was asking her if she wanted to be in a YouTube video. My daughter knows better, she's not dumb. But they were asking if she wanted to be a YouTube video, not on camera or anything. Just, like, the characters dancing and they're going to record it. And uh, I'm assuming it's, like, a Roblox content creator. I don't know. But my daughter showed me the chat history and I was reading through it. And the person was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to show your face. Just the avatar is dancing. And my daughter was telling them that, oh, my parents don't let me be in YouTube videos. And this person responded saying, um... Oh, it's okay. It'll be our secret. I, I won't tell your parents. I promise. And then that's when she came and got me and asked me about that. And I was like, no, no, no get out of there. That's, that's weirdo shit. Like that, that's all kinds of red flags right there. So I told her to get out of that lobby and I, I made her get out of the lobby and like play with people she actually knows. That's what I mean though. Like there's weird, and you know, it could have been just some like teen girl that makes Roblox content, right? And she's just going to make a clip of different avatars dancing that she meets online. But, that, like, how do I know that? Like, how do I know next thing? It's not going to be some weirdo asking for photos or something. It's just some way... It's bizarre. Like, as a parent, like, you need to be aware of those red flags when you see them. Too much, too much craziness happens. My mom used to watch Little Beauty Pageants. It's so creepy. Yeah, you know, I feel like that was a 90s thing. Like, do they even have, like, kids' beauty pageants anymore? That, uh, yeah, that's weird, man. I don't know. 
But that was a thing in the 90s, though. Like, parents would put their kids in beauty pageants and, and dress them up like dolls, like <laughs> girls in their 20s. <clears throat> Pedo alert right there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you never know. And, and she showed me that, and I was like, okay, thank you for telling me. A, B, get out of that lobby. And that's it. But like I said, I, I, we, 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 taught, we taught our daughter to, you know, be aware of those kind of things and come get us if something she's not sure about. That's why it's important to supervise your kids. Ah. Uh. It's like one of one of my nieces a while back too. I remember she was I don't know what game she was playing. She was playing something on her her tablet or some kind of chat room or something on a game that had like some kind of chat room. And uh she got in trouble with her mom because at the time she was like 9 years old and she was chatting privately. It was, it, the chat itself seemed innocent, but she was chatting with someone that was like 15 years old and I was like, "What is a 15-year-old doing chatting privately with someone that's like 9 years old?" Like that's yeah. That's red alert. <laughs> that is red alert. Your little girl's really smart. Yeah, she is. I mean, we, we made sure... Those are things kids should know, though. Like, we made sure that from a young age, she, she's aware that not everyone is out there for her well-being. You know, that there's dangerous people out there, and she needs to be aware of her surroundings. Like, that's it's important to me that, that my kids are raised knowing... And understanding, like, you can't walk around being scared of the world, but you also got to not be stupid, you know? Ah, you guys didn't bamboozle me. <laughs> Why are there invisible platforms? Is that necessary? See, there is a trophy for it. I watched 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I hate that show. My wife loves that shit. I call it trash TV. I can't. What do you mean by collecting cupcakes? You know about collecting cupcakes? Uh, look up EDP 445. Or better yet, you might not want to, but that's that's where that uh, meme comes from. <laughs> look up EDP cupcakes. EDP. And then you will you will know. What I love it. Yeah, I've seen 98 Fiance because I've been... With my wife sometimes in the living room and she's watching it and I'm forced, but I, I hate reality TV in general. I'd rather watch X-Men 97. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Alright, what I gotta figure out... Alright, I gotta kill these sons of bitches. Somehow. Yep, Ozzy, you know about the cupcake. The PDF file. I hate sand. It's coarse, rough, and irritating. Anakin Skywalker would agree. Now it doesn't... Oh, come here. There we go. Get off my invisible platform. You know, did they get this invisible platform from Indiana Jones? That's very much an Indiana Jones reference. Favorite watch? Rather, rather watch Welcome to Raccoon City than 90 Day Fiance? That's actually a true statement. I, I would rather watch... Resident Evil, anything. I, just, I don't like reality TV. I, I think it sucks. <laughs> I'm just here to buy a cupcake. <laughs> so bad. Disgusting. See, but how do I get up there? Because I need to... There's no way up. See, I gotta get up. Oh. No? See, I gotta get up there. How the fuck? Uh, ooh, I see. I am now enlightened. There we go. Uh, yeah. I would apologize for A Elite. You like what you like. No shame in that. I still hate it. <laughs> Sh 
shit, now I don't know what to do. I wonder if we should go down there and uh, go to that door. Well, I probably need something else still. Oh, look! Oh, I need another one. See? We must go into the depths of the Sphinx. Ra Welcome Raccoon City went through the trouble of making Claire the central character, then went through the trouble of making her the most drab and forgettable part of the movie, yeah. And making Leon a complete wuss the entire time. And extremely incompetent. Wait a minute, isn't this where I came from? I remember there's some gates here. I wonder if I have to put it on the other side first. It's probably what it is. Let me go back. No! Fatality. The pit. Leon wasn't even Leon at all in that crap. Yeah, he is. He was horribly represented in general. Like they just, like he said, it just wasn't Leon at all. I don't even care that it didn't look like Leon. It just, that's not the pro that was not the problem with his character in the movie. <laughs> it was everything else that that could have gone wrong. <sighs> okay. All right, let's try. Let's try this. Huh. You look more like Carlos. Yeah, I did. But still, like I said, that wasn't the problem with the movie. The problem with the movie was so much deeper than the characters didn't look like the characters. Like, you have a movie where Wesker is apologizing to Chris for being a bad guy. Like, come on. Like, what is that? I'm missing something here, and I don't know what it is. I must need two of those, right? Where could it be? See, I have, I hit that switch. I hit that switch. Did I go through here? Anyone know if there's a second one of those? I, I'm assuming there is a second one. All right, well, we know it's not here. Let's bring the drone further this way. What is this? There's a keyhole. Did I have, did I get a key? I don't think I did. Oh man. It's quite the trek. I do have a damn key. Oh, shit. All right. It's this way. All right. Let's go Lara Croft. I know where to go now. Onwards. Wait. I think I know where to go. Yeah, here. I got it. So I basically have to go over here, slide and jump. I would never beat this game without a guide if it wasn't for the camera. I can't see. All right, I'm going to have to do this. I got it now. Damn it. No, I don't. 
<clears throat> oh, by the way, anyone saw the... They got a trailer for the Penguin Show. From the Matt Reeves Batman Universe. It looks so good. I'm pumped for that show. I love the Matt Reeves Batman-verse. Yeah, but they got the trailer up, and it's basically Penguin being the Penguin. Being the, being the mob boss that, he, that he's meant to be. Oh. Damn. Ada RE2 remake or Ada RE4 remake? Uh, I don't know. It was similar, Ada. I mean, I'll say RE4 remake Ada just because the uh, Ada portion of the story was so much better than the original version. Like, uh, honestly, the Ada portions in, in classic RE4, I, I think it sucks. I think it's boring. Um, I, I am very much not of that opinion with the remake. They, they improved it. All the things I, I thought were wrong with it, they fixed. Like that Krauser random... Ass Krauser boss fight at the end. Completely gone. Completely unnecessary. Oh, no. This is why I saved. Fuck. The golden key. I would have been so mad if she was like, no. open this now yes there it is okay Ooh. oh my god she got shot right in the face how are you supposed to see that thing coming i got lit up i got lit the hell up what the fuck Let's not do that again. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, another Atlantean creature. All these monsters are Atlanteans. The survivors of Atlantis went to rule over Egypt, uh, Peru, and uh, what, Greece? I don't know why they look like that, though. I, I don't know if the story's explained it yet. I don't remember if it ever does. They just look like that. Maybe that's what they look like natively. I, I really don't remember. Atlantean super soldiers. Is that what the story was? That there were some kind of like experiments in Atlantis or something? I don't remember why they looked all meaty. All doom-like. Right, now we could finally uh, unlock whatever that door. Damn, this Egypt level takes forever. I I think this is the last Egypt stage, and that's Atlantis. That looked like Cameo Mataro. Yeah, Cameo Mataro. Can't believe we got Chameleon as a cameo. I mean, at least they put her in the game. But, like, I, I want Chameleon to be, like, a main character. She was always trying to breed with Reptile before, and he didn't want her. He wanted Shao Kahn instead. <laughs> Many times. Poor Chameleon. Oh, man. How do I get back up the, the Sphinx now without... I don't want... I really don't want to climb all the way back up there. There's got to be a shortcut. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, here we go. Trying to stream, but being depressed sucks. Yeah, I feel you, Elite Man. Like I said, man, if, if you don't feel up to it, just you're always welcome to just chill out here and talk to people, you know? Have a chill, relaxed time. At least it'll help you get your mind off things for a little bit, hopefully. And then when you feel up to it, you can stream. If anyone wants to watch The Mummy after the stream, the freaking Tom Cruise Mummy, I'd rather play The Mummy. The Mummy Demastered, because it's actually great. <laughs> the 
Here we go. I did it. No. Ho oh, oh, ho. Oh. I thought I almost fell. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. Now I gotta very carefully. The hard part about these games too is like you get all excited when you figure something out. So then you want to rush down and then you end up like breaking your legs again. Break your legs. Ah! Or play The Mummy, the movie, the game starring Brendan Fraser. I remember those games. I, there was one on Dreamcast, I think. I think it was Mummy Returns. Uh, there was PS2 ones, too. They were actually were not bad movie games. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that difference. There's no features. A shotgun shells. Grab those. Let me turn this on so I can actually see where the hell I'm going to. The hell? Oh, uh, let me get some air. You imagine if she landed here and there's just no way out. There's just no way out of here. Be like, uh, I'm just gonna float here forever now. <clears throat> Don't want to be that guy, but is water even safe to swim in? Tomb Raider water, you never know. There's probably a lot of alligators, maybe some old ass bacteria that's growing in here. Oh, uh, wait, I see something... Ammo. Even the water sounds different with these graphics. Oh, look, right there. Nope. I need a switch. I gotta open that somehow. I gotta get the hell out of there. Na, na, na. Let me slow. Oh. Oh shit. Oh no. No. I didn't realize how low my oxygen. Oh my god, look. Right there. It's the pathway. Damn it. Soul bitch. Why is there a 9mm in the water? What? Why has there been ammo and guns throughout all these areas that I've been traversing where supposedly no one's been for thousands of years? The answer is, who knows? Oh, no, never mind. I can't go that way. It's got to be a switch or something. Oh, you know what? Here. We got our drone. Whoa. Well, there's nothing on the surface of the water. We know that much. Oh, look, right there. Switch. Let's go. Again, you guys can use these streams as really bad guides that will eventually get you to the destination. But you got you to gotta learn to love the process. Are you going to pull it? Oh my god. I can't pull it. So stupid. I think you have to get in like a very specific uh, position.
damn it. I could pull switches underwater. What the hell am I doing wrong? Let me try the old graphics. Maybe the old graphics, like you're aligned better or something. I really hope that's not a glitch or something. What the hell, man? I can't press it. I hate this part. Maybe. Maybe there's another switch that drains the water or something. And then I see, but there's no way to climb up here. It's impossible. It's not letting me. Yeah, I have to be able to press that switch and then this door opens. It's Is that a switch? There's a switch right here. Damn it. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't think it's a glitch, thankfully. I, I'm assuming. Still curious if Carlos is supposed to be a communist mercenary in the remake. Yeah, that's his backstory. Still the same backstory. That's how Capcom has it under his profiles and shit. There. It's going to be rich when you get your YouTube money. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Tell you one thing. If anyone here is new, like trying to start a YouTube career, I mean, and you're new to it and you're expecting to be rich doing it, they don't. <laughs> you won't. I mean, I guess uh, people can be, but I mean, it's that's the, the very small minority. If you want to just eventually work towards it to where, like, you can, you know, get by living your life and doing it as a job, that's a different story. But if you're looking to be, like, freaking the, the Saudi prince, no, you're not going to have that kind of money doing YouTube. More than likely. Especially around tax season when Uncle Sam says, hey, you haven't paid taxes all year. Where's my money? <laughs> then he comes up and fucks you up with red, white, and blue. Who do you think you are, DSP? I know, right? You need the DSP model where you constantly scream at your audience and get thousands of dollars, then you spend it on WWE champions. That's how you make the big bucks, right? <laughs> Screaming all day. Well, you did get $200 super set. So do you think $200... Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. It's awesome. But you think two hundred dollars super chats minus YouTube's part is rich people money? <laughs> like I said, I'm not discrediting it, but that's not that's not rich people money. Rich people money is you, you're millionaire. That's rich people. Speaking of which, I always found it crazy that when you get all these like, I I think it's a huge mistake when you get these uh these young YouTube content creators like in their early twenties that make a ton of money and they like move to freaking LA because they think that's the, you have, I don't know what it is about like the youth with the mentality that you have to move to LA to get like YouTube rich. Like, it's such a weird thing. It's just, like, it's so expensive to live in these areas. Just live in a regular ass place. You don't need to move to LA to be a YouTuber. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And it's always these, these giant like channels with these like people in their early twenties that form those like content houses where they all live together and stuff. It's bizarre, man. 
Maybe I'm old. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I want to be able to afford to pay for my home. <laughs> like that, that's the idea of working. Affording to pay your home. Mr. Beast wasn't born rich, but he managed to become a millionaire. Yeah. And he did it with, with blood, sweat, and tears. Like, he did it on YouTube. But, yeah, that's... If you, statistically, that's, like, the point, like, 1% of the 1%. It's just, like, extremely unlikely. I will never say it's impossible. Hey, if I was ever a YouTube millionaire, I, I would love that. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. Extremely unlikely, though. And that's not even what I'm looking for. My goal with YouTube making it a job was... I want to be able to pay my bills and enjoy what I do for work. That's it. Like that, that, that's, uh, that's what you should want out of life, man. That's satisfaction right there. I don't want to be stuck at a call center and I want to be able to afford my lifestyle. That's it. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. How? Oh, the water did drain a little bit, didn't it? How the fuck? Oh, I can just drop down. Whoop! There we go. I live! Sounds like a man with a good plan. You know, it's just like... I don't know. People like... Everything, like, people just like overindulging. They get a little bit of success... And then live above their means. You know? And it's like, that. That that's how people, that's how, like, wealthy people don't hold on to their money. And then, like, ten years later, they're broke. It's like, well, you wasted it all on, like, flashy shit instead of, like, thinking about your future. Like I said, maybe I'm old. Mm. Gotta think long term. Exactly. And no one can tell the future, you know, but you just got to do the best you can with the cards you're given. And, you know, it's, it's always got to have a plan and be willing to change as you go. My channel's totally different than it was like 2017. <laughs> Might be different next year. I don't know. Got to change as you go. Some shit works, some shit doesn't. No, you are wise. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Me being a wise man, I wouldn't go that far. But I've had a little bit of life experience. And I made plenty of mistakes on my own that I, I don't ever plan on making again. Investing can sometimes be a mistake. Yeah, 100% it can be. Alright, see you later, Elite. Oh, something's going to pop out. No? No one wants to battle? Alright, let's keep jumping. Wait a minute. What's that here? Why am I back here? Was I here? This looks familiar. This has got to be the most I'm confused in Lost Stream Fabians ever. No. Rogue, there's been more than that. I, I can't think of one right now, but there has to have been way worse. This isn't that bad compared to some of the others. There has to have been others. They're way worse. It just takes a little bit to make progress here. That's all. It's a long level. That's it. Please play in Tomb Raider 96, please, on PlayStation. Yeah, th well, yeah, this is PS5. So technically it's PlayStation. The remastered version, though. The hell? What? See, I ended up right... Why did I end up back here? That's exactly where I was.
I made a tough decision the other day to put streaming on indefinite hiatus because I got moved full time at work and I wouldn't have the energy to have that much on my shoulders. Yeah, Ozzy, you don't want to stretch yourself too thin either. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell was that? But yeah, there is such a thing as stretching yourself too thin. I've done that multiple times on this channel. It's got to do what works for you. Okay, so that door's closed. I'm assuming it just needs to be open. Thoughts on Coinbase. What's Coinbase? Is that like a crypto thing? I don't mess with any of that stuff. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really have thoughts on it. I, I really, I'm not educated on the subject at all, to be honest. Where are you taking me? Something like that? Yeah, I, I would. I, I, I'm not educated on that topic at all. I don't follow crypto. Crypto. I don't. I don't know. Investing to me is like gambling. Investing in shit. Because investing in stuff is always a gamble. You don't know if it's going to pay off or not. Like here's some basic. And I'm not a financial guru. But here's some basic adult financial advice. Uh, pay off your bills. Whatever you need to do. Work hard. Have a six month emergency fund. In case you lose a job or something, you have six months of your life that you can live financially. And it's all take time to save up, but you got to be wise with your money, you know. Pay off your debts. Don't run up credit card bills like crazy. Once you're debt free, save six months worth of all your expensive in a bank account. And that's your emergency fund. And once everything's paid off, you know, from there, just use your money wisely. Put some in savings, put some aside, put some in taxes, and don't invest in shit that you don't understand. And if you do, make sure it's money that you can afford to lose. I don't invest in shit because I don't understand that world. But it is very much a gamble. You invest money in your mind, consider that money gone. Do it with money that you can afford to lose. If you have bills and you, if you have debt, that you haven't paid off, you have no business investing. Take care of that shit first. And that is some financial basic advice. Basic financial advice. That's just being an adult. That's making sure your house is in order. <laughs> Look at all that sound wise, extremely old man advice. Like I said, I will give you basic adult financial advice. If you invest in shit that you're not sure is going to pay off, make sure in your mind that, that you're okay to lose every penny of that. And if you do that while well, you have mountains of debt, then it's a stupid thing to do. It's stupid. What am I supposed... What else is stupid? You know what else is stupid that I don't know where to go? What am I supposed to do here? I, I feel like I'm in a circle. It keeps circling me back up. Back up there. Sounds like good advice. Sounds like something my dad would say. Yeah, like I said, man, if, if, if you're going to invest in shit that you don't really know if it's going to pay off or not, you might as well go gamble. It's the same thing. <laughs> you're, you're working on chance. Essentially. What am I doing? Max out your credit cards on Legos. I could neither confirm nor deny that I've done that in the past. <laughs> Hey, I said I could give some financial advice, not that I take my own advice regularly, okay? This is a difference. I'm not the Wolf of Wall Street here, you know? I'm just I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy on the internet. In other words, the opposite of a certain pickish creator. I can't believe how much money that dude spends on mobile games. Like what a what a waste. Like, seriously. What a waste of money. It's literally like your, your viewer's giving you cash. And then you instantly turning around and setting it on fire. It's the same thing. Anyone know what the hell I am supposed to do here? I 
I drain the water, right? I can close that door again for some reason. There has to be a reason why I can close the door again. So I must have to close it again. Because all the water went in there and it takes me right back up. But then how do I progress? My friend spent like a thousand dollars on Genshin. God. Oh, that's hard to read that people like, spent that much on a game. Like, I've spent that much on a game, like, cumulatively, like, purchasing different games and consoles. But on one game, spending that amount of money, like, I, I can never. Like, I would, I would, for, I would feel like shit forever. There's got to be something else here that I'm missing. Oh. Hey, that's another door. Well, how do I open that door? Tells dude how to get out of Egypt. We're trying. We're trying to get out of Egypt. There's doors and ruins and water and all kinds of crap. Okay, so now I gotta open this door. And then I think that'll open the other door too, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. So each statue has a door on it. Damn Egypt. So that's... Oh no! 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 I didn't mean to go through that one. I got sucked up. Oh, man. Well, at least now I can just dive down there and, and go to the door I was supposed to go in. I didn't mean to do that. At least not the cistern. Oh, my lord. I hated the cistern with a passion. I hated it. Never again while I do that level. I, I prefer Egypt over the cistern. Sister was war it was a water temple. It's what it was. It was a water temple. The Tomb Raider water temple. <sighs> I did. I boomered that, unfortunately. Can you sh sing Egypt by Egyptian Lover? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> I, what, what is that? I don't know what song that is. Oh, there's a slope. I mean, it's a very small slope. It's still it's a slope. Fuck. Water dive. Oh. <laughs> I thought I hit the water. Cistern, the one with the 20 keys. Yes, the one with the 20 keys. Oh, it was a nightmare. It was such a nightmare. Kirby stream after next Tomb Raider. You know, I man, I wanted to get us. Uh, has anyone played Princess Peach Showtime yet? I heard it's actually pretty fun. I want to get that game. Yes, I'm a grown man that's going to play a little girl's game. I don't care. Looks like fun. Okay. Let's not make mistakes now. All right? No more mistakes allowed here. Here we go. <sighs> It's not an assassin. They would have done a backflip. If it was Cassandra or Alexios from uh, Odyssey, with all the upgrades, would have survived that without hesitation. Okay. Progress. <laughs> it made progress. Yes. It reviewed really well. It's all about Princess Peach using the power of emotions. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Uh, the new Princess Peach game? Because that sounds like Super Princess Peach. I'm talking about Princess Peach Showtime. You know what? I'm going to save. Because I, I know some freaking horse monster mummy is going to 
start shooting fireballs at me, meatballs at me. <clears throat> what do you think of the new Beetlejuice trailer? I mean, they didn't really show a whole lot. One thing I... It looks interesting, because one thing they did confirm, the movie's going to have no CG whatsoever. It's all, like, practical effects, like the old one. So that... I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be cool. No CG in 2024. It's going to be awesome. Oh, man. See, there, there's a lot of, lot of ammo here. Play the Peach demo. It played good in the costumes to provide power-ups. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up... Uh, Next week, I'll probably because I, like I told you guys before. We're, next Friday, we're going to Legoland. We're staying at a at a hotel over there. Um, so I'll probably pick up a copy for me and my daughter, so we can both play it. And speaking of which, the Legoland hotels. Are, oh my god! Like uh, we are looking up the actual Legoland hotel, and it's like twelve hundred dollars a night. That's insane. Of course, we're not doing that. We're staying like two miles out. And stay at like like a I don't even like a Holiday Inn or something. <laughs> this is like a I don't even, no it's not Holiday Inn it's a like a Ramada I don't remember. Forgot my wife looked it. We're just we're staying at a hotel like away from there because the closer you are to theme parks it's like triple the price. We paid like a hundred something dollars for the hotel room. Like I'm not paying twelve hundred dollars for freaking hotel room. That's crazy. Oh, 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 whoa, that's a lot. Just waiting. What the hell, man? I got to run in there and then run back out. That was insane. Imagine laying on a bed made of Legos. Uh, it hurts enough stepping on them. SeaWorld employees get free entry to Legoland. Oh, really? D are they like the same company that owns them? I don't even know who owns Legoland. All right. May maybe it's... See, I don't want to use the, the Uzis. I'll save them. Might have to, though, man. I'm going to try to draw them in here. A lot of the parks in the area swap like that. Universal and SeaWorld do the same thing. Interesting. It's crazy how expensive that Legoland hotel is. Because, like, for example, we stayed at a... Outside of Universal, they have a Cabana Bay Hotel. It's one of the Universal resorts. And it, we stayed there last summer for my birthday, and it wasn't that expensive. It was like... I don't remember. I think we paid, like, 200-something for a night for a theme park hotel. That's a steal. Uh, like, $1,200 for a hotel? That's insane. Well, to be fair, I think they require, like, a two-day stay. So they're still ripping you off and charging you extra, but... Like, you can't book, like, a single night. Why are they so strong? See, but that's why you stay at a regular hotel. Like, you go to a hotel go to sleep anyways. The hell do I need to pay $1,200 for? Son of a bitch. You're in my land. My land. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm going to save. So I can cheese it. Excellent. You got no chance, man. Give up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Stupid horse. Got him. Did you ever stay at the Disney resorts? Uh, no, I've never stayed at the actual Disney resort. There's no need to for me because I like I live in the area and stuff. So it, anytime we've gone to Disney, we just go home afterwards. 
So it doesn't make sense. We've never felt the need to spend a ton of money at a Disney resort just for the hell of it. If you're not from the area, then yeah, it, it's obviously it's almost a, a requirement. But uh, no, we just come home. I work at a hotel. I need those saps to spend hundreds of dollars to help my paycheck. Yeah. The Aussie, do you have to like upsell people and shit too? I'm assuming that's part of your job, right? Like upselling them, like better rooms and stuff when they come in. What's your favorite Hollywood studios? Right, uh, Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is my favorite Disney ride. Period. Uh, another ride I really, really like. If you're talking about the other side of the country, uh, Disneyland California, they have a uh, the the freaking uh, Indiana Jones ride. That ride is so cool. It's I basically a pain in my brain from you. Oh and no. It's got me funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> uh, but the uh, Indiana Jones ride, if you've been to Animal Kingdom here in Orlando and have been on the dinosaur ride, it's the same track. It's the same ride. They just reskin it. That's right, jackass. Look at you. Dead. He was coming at me. <clears throat> Probably make more at the hotel than people who work at Airbnb. Yeah, we were actually looking to stay at a ho uh, Airbnb in that area too, but the ones we were looking at was like twice the price. And I was like, I'm not going to pay p twice the price for an Airbnb in the area. And it's like... At the same time, like, you know, you want to get up in the middle of the night, like, go to concession, grab some snacks. Or, you know, no, you got to do all that. Instead of a hotel, it's got everything right there on, on property. Which you say at Airbnbs before, but for this specific case, it just does make sense. Finally, we got this stupid thing. After multiple streams. Oh, man. Ooh, look, pixelated. How did she get out of there so easily? <gasps> Mr. X? Howdy. Afternoon. <laughs> Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off <laughs> me. Let's try the lunchbox. Well, kill her. These graphics are amazing. <laughs> I love this. You morons. You morons. Dude said my name, they did say lunchbox. Let's go. I'm so glad we're out of Egypt. I think. Man, they really wanted to show off those 3D graphics. Remember, there's a lot of artifacts in the cutscene. They really do update it, too. I mean, this is regular graphics right here. Just a little more pixelated. Remastered right here. See, it's, like, smoothed out a little bit. What the heck was that? What? That's this is bullshit. Probably just a fish. Maybe some fish, kid. Man, you have got to learn to 
chill. I'm going back inside. You coming? They could just open that and find her. Got three levels left. Well, plus the add-on content. They have the Unfinished Business DLC. The, that from the PC version that they added. Whoa. Where are we now? Let's see what it's called. We are in Natla's Mines. Ah, uh, mines. That's equivalent to sewer levels. Where's that? Oh, it's a boat. You know what? Let me pause right here real quick because I gotta pee. I'll be back in two seconds. Yeah, let's do this. Nope. We'll do that. All right, I'll be right back. Actually, here, real quick. Here. I'll throw an ad in here. <laughs> Just one. Here, I hit insert ad. You might get an ad. I'll be right back. Turned. All right. Out of curiosity, did you guys get an ad? I've seen people do that on streams. Uh, insert the ad manually, and a lot of times it doesn't do anything. Hold on. I grabbed an ice cream sandwich real quick. It's funny. I was complaining the other day because my wife. She she. Oh, you did get an ad. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, my wife the other day bought some uh, ice cream sandwiches. There's a little baby thing. There's a little tiny thing. And I was like, why'd you buy these mini ones? She's like, well, we're you know, trying to eat healthier. Just get the small ones. And I was like, no. Like, if you're going to buy ice cream sandwiches, buy the regular. Now i got to eat two of them. Instead of the one. I like ice cream sandwiches. Did you bring enough to share with the class? Well, no, considering that it's a mini. Hell no. Barely have any for me. barely have enough for me. Mm. Oh, now I get comfortable again. I agree with both you and your wife. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, trying to help you by the minis," and I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna open two of them because <laughs> one, two minis equals one one regular." It was math.
then I had to go tell my daughter to clean her room. Because apparently she wasn't listening to her mom. She's been telling her all day to clean her room and she hasn't done it. And I told her if she's got a birthday party tomorrow, she doesn't have her room clean, she can't go. The Amazon sandwich is good. It's a Walmart brand too, great value. Still good. Well, I hate mine levels, they're so boring. Held up. There's something back there. Hmm. Well, I put my finger. Apologize, I'm eating like a monster on stream. The Tomb Raider two and three have music for these levels. I don't know. I don't remember. My level when you start with zero weapons. Oh, re I don't have my weapons? You're right. I didn't even notice that. What happened to my guns? Hot take, I think uh, Walmart actually has the best ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, there is some stuff you have to buy, like, real name brand, though. Like, some, like cereal. I was furious. <laughs> That's because my wife brought home. I don't even remember what it was called. It was fake Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it was cheaper. And I was like, what is this shit? Because I, I knew, I knew. And she started laughing because I poured the bowl without looking. I, I poured the bowl, pour the milk, almond milk, technically, not regular milk. But I pour the milk and I take a bite and I'm like, you didn't. I instantly knew it wasn't the real thing. And then I grabbed the box angrily and I see some stupid bear on it. And I was like, who is this bear? On my cinnamon toast crunch box, and it was like cinnamon, like I had cinnamon swirl squares or some shit. The cereal, you, you gotta have brand name cereal. I don't, I don't do that non name brand cereal. I'm a cereal elitist. All right, if there is such a club, I am, I am the CEO of the the cereal elitist club. Now his guns took your guns in the previous cutscene, but I was on the boat though. Couldn't I, couldn't she get her guns back? I was on the same boat, literally in their bed. While they were sleeping, she couldn't have gone and gotten her guns. You see? Doesn't make sense. We spent the whole day in the same location. The fuck is tricks? It's not the same. I don't even eat I don't like those like neon cereals. Tricks and stuff like that's like neon cereal. Although I do love my crunch berries. I'm a I'm a Captain Crunch connoisseur, if you will. Non brand is cheaper. It's cheaper in quality too, and taste. I agree. You're right. It is cheaper in price and cheaper in quality. It's garbage. I hate it. I hate it so much. God does need music. Yeah, this game does. I agree. I don't remember if 2 and 3 did. I know the other games have music, like Tomb Raider Legend and all the, like, the later ones. They definitely do. What am I supposed to... Alright. I don't think I can do anything here yet. Natsula's Mines. No one brand name Zero can fuck off. I agree. It's funny, because when I complain about it, she's, <laughs> it's always the same response. She's always just like... Well, next time you buy it, I'm not going to buy any for you next time. Well, it's not the point. Just if you're going to spend money on cereal, just buy good cereal. Don't buy crap. It's not hard. Oh, look. Something over here. Do you have Frankenberry, Count Chocula, and Booberry? Yeah, Booberry I used to like, but as an adult... We still have it. As an adult, I've, I've bought it not that long ago, and it's just, I think it's gross. It's too sweet. Like, it's just, it's just you're eating a bunch of neon. Like, that's what it tastes like. It's like I'm just eating neon. Stars Bounty Hunter did it better with the music. Yeah, they, they, I guess this is more because, like, since you're out in nature and stuff, it's supposed to be very, like, ambient noise. So, I, I get it. But, yeah, they definitely had music later on. 
I remember Tomb Raider Underworld was cool. I like Tomb Raider Underworld. I only played through it one time, though. We'll see what's over here. Nope. Denied. Frosted Flakes. I don't like Frosted Flakes. I mean, I like the taste, don't get me wrong. But Frosted Flakes, like, they get soggy so quick. They get soggy way too fast. Like, you pour the milk, and then you, like, sit down, and it's already, like, melted slop. I do know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, that opened some door, but I don't know where the hell that door is. Maybe it's over here. Maybe I overlooked it. That's what's been happening in this game. I'll overlook some random thing that's, like, right next to me. It's obnoxious. You know what? Camera. Oh, my camera won't go over there. I guess it's stopping it. <sighs> Drunk History has a great episode about the Kellogg's brothers. Oh, I've seen them, them before. I remember they had one funny ass episode. It was like about the, like, the Civil War or something. They were just completely intoxicated, just talking random nonsense. See, where is that? That has to be near me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see. I think I see the way. Or do I? There's Natla's Mines. Nat oh my god, look at this. Look, can you read what's under it? It's just a bunch of red nonsense. And then... <laughs> what a difference. Completely illegible to perfectly written. This is probably the quietest stream we ever had. Like, I mean, from like a game audio point of view. Like, yeah, there is no sound whatsoever. See, look. All right. If I can get there, I can go through here. Do you know the way? You know, it's funny. Have you guys ever seen... Uh, I've talked about this before. But have you guys ever seen the, the like, African rebel uh, videos on YouTube? Some dude pretends to be, like, an African rebel. And he's like, I will steal your soul. <laughs> I will pray to the devil. But he's just like talking to like random kids playing Call of Duty online. And then they start getting scared shitless because he like gets their IP addresses. So he finds out their real address and shit. It's so funny. Man, look, I can go through this whole level and I don't know how to get to any of this. Or Africa. Yeah, it's like African Warlord plays Call of Duty. I, I I binge those like late at night laughing my ass off. See, all right. I have to be able to move this. It's got to, it's something to do with this. This area is so small right now. There's no way like I'm I'm lost. Oh, look. Damn it. King Vitamin cereal? That was King Vitamin. Is that a brand? I've never heard of King Vitamin. Any other late night binge you enjoyed? A lot of random YouTube content. Uh, I've also binged the AI precedents on YouTube, which are absolutely hilarious. You get like Trump, Biden, Obama. Sometimes George W. Bush is in the mix. But it's just a bunch of AI voices making tier lists and then them all arguing about them. <laughs> like you get the AI presidents arguing about like what Dragon Ball Z saga is the best. It's hilarious shit. If you're ever interested in that, it's AI presidents argue or AI presidents tier list. They, anything you can think of, someone made it. But yeah, and then arguing about which era of Nintendo is better and all the Nintendo consoles. It's so funny because it sounds so much like them and it just makes it ten times more ridiculous. 
Wait, which Bush? Uh, George W. I haven't seen the original George Bush there, but I, I don't think that'd be anywhere near as iconic. You know, it's got to be someone in the recently in the last couple of decades here. But it's not even that funny when they add George Bush in the mix. It's one year one. It's just Obama. You all right? Usually how it goes, it's Obama moderating and like leading the questions, and then Biden giving a shitty opinion or Trump, and then they get into it and start arguing with each other. And it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. Politics done right. <laughs> it's politics done right. Are you about tier lists? There's also the elderly thing in GTA's real news. Yeah, that's hilarious. You know what, too? And that that's very believable because people from like older generations don't understand like how realistic video games are looking. I remember a couple of years ago, my 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 my, my uh, when I was living at home still, my father was watching me play Assassin's Creed. I I think it was Unity. Was it Unity? It was Unity. Because when I first moved out, it was around the time Syndicate was dropping. It was Unity. I was playing Unity, and my father's watching me. And then he asked me, like, he's saying it looks like a good movie if he could watch it on Netflix in his room. And I was like, this is not a movie. Like, it's Assassin's Creed. It's a video game. But, yeah, like, older generations that don't play video games, they'll see it, and they'll be like, oh, that looks real. By the way, speaking of realistic graphics, you guys seen that Marvel 1943 game? That shit looks good. Uh, they got Ezekiel from The Walking Dead playing, um, uh, it's Black Panther's grandfather, although he's also Black Panther, T'Chaka's father, during World War II, and he encounters Steve Rogers in Nazi France. It looks so good! Uh, they haven't shown gameplay yet, to be fair, or at least not very much, but, um, my god, the face, like, it, they look so real. It looks really good, visually. Well, anyone remember his name? Uh, uh, his name was like Azuri or something. Or Black Panther's... It's T'Challa. His father's T'Chaka. His father was like Azuri or something like that. I forgot what they call him. That was his no. like Wakandan name. Famous president's Nixon. No. I don't think they have Nixon AI voices. No. Don't say no to me. No. Oh, so 1943 is a video game? Yeah, someone, we it was weird. Someone commented on my Twitter post about it, saying, like, why they CG, though? And I was like, uh, what do you mean? It's a game. And they're like, oh, I thought it was a movie. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a game. It's Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. It's made by, what? what's, I don't know her name, the, the lady that wrote, like, I, I don't know, she wrote Uncharted, the Uncharted games or something? Directed them? Amy, uh, like, Amy Hennig or something like that. It looks good. But I, I need more trailer. Because all we got was like a lot of story beats and like cutscenes and stuff. And they look great, but it's not gameplay. And I I hope that it's not some live service shit. Um, it's in Azuri, that's what it was. It's interesting because there is a basis in the comics for it. Um, there's a, a storyline, what was it called? Um... There's a storyline of Captain America and Black Panther, the same Black Panther, uh, Azuri. The Flags of Our Fathers, it was something like Flags of Our Fathers, I think it was called. It was a really good graphic novel. But um, the Nazis are like in, in uh, Wakanda, like trying to steal vibranium. And that Black Panther, he's, he's, he's cutting their heads off. He's cutting their heads off and leaving them on pikes to scare off the other Nazis. And then Steve Rogers encounters him and... Same as always, you know, it starts off in a versus, and then they realize they're on the same side and team up. That's what's going to happen here, too. But I like that they're actually pulling from, like, source material. Like, yeah, Captain America and, and T'Challa's grandfather, like, fought together in World War II. And here we are. It's like, that shield you hide behind does not belong to you. I'm like, oh, shit, those are fighting words. Watch the trailer right now. It looks really good. They can make a movie out of this. Ah, oh, man. I would love that. You know what I want to see in movie form, though? Whenever Wolverine gets introduced in the MCU, I want them to reveal, like, have Chris Evans come back just just, just for a scene. Or even a spinoff movie. I don't give a shit. Or a show. 
but have Chris Evans come back as Captain America, and it's uh, him and Wolverine together in World War II. Oh, that'd be awesome. I've always liked when Captain America meets like legacy characters like that. See you later, Latrice. <laughs> Bitch is my shield. Didn't even watch X-Men 97 yet? Uh, I Too many times. I've seen the first two episodes like on repeat. It's so good. It's amazing. It's 10 out of 10. I love it. Anyone that doesn't like it, either A, because the, the whole rogue booty thing, if you really watched the show and didn't like it, A, you probably didn't really watch it and are saying you did, or you were looking for a reason to hate it. I, I cannot, I cannot fathom a fan of the 90s series watching it and not being like, whoa, they, they, they did it. <laughs> they made it mind-blowingly good. I, just, I can't fathom it. I don't know what I'm doing. What's a good combo of Wolverine and Captain America team up in World War II? There's been a couple. I, I can't think of the names of any specific stories. Um, I know what in the 90s, I think they had some of the Sentinel of Liberty comics where Captain America and Wolverine had some flashbacks. Captain America and the Punisher have had some really good team-ups too. Because they're always really tense. Because Punisher, Ca Punisher respects Captain America. And Captain America very much represents the opposite of what the Punisher does. Although they're both from a soldier background, you know? Captain America is about fighting for liberty and protecting for others and not needlessly killing. And Punisher is just like, yep, <laughs> I'm the executioner. Boom, boom, boom. I'll give 97 a chance if it's really implemented stuff from the original comics. Oh, it has. episode, And I won't spoil it for people story-wise, but episode one and two pulls from the Executioner. You know, eventually led the Executioner song, but that's not the story they pull from. But it pulls from the Executioner storyline, who's a guy from the um, Friends of Humanity that's basically packing technology against mutants. They pull from that and uh, from the uh, Trial of Magneto from the 80s, too. So, yeah, they're absolutely pulling from the comics and fusing it into the X-Men 97 world. What? Is, can I grab this? I What is this thing? I, I It doesn't look like something I could grab, but there's nothing... Nothing I can do. I don't know. I hate the mines. Have I said that already? If I haven't, I'll say it again. I hate the mines. It's stupid. It's always annoying. So I think it's as popular and profitable as MCU movies have been and as loved as Captain America is. And then I've heard that nobody actually buys his comics. Yeah, Captain America... Well... <sighs> Here's the thing, though, about that. And it's true. Captain America was never one of the big top sellers. I think one of Captain America's really high points was when Winter Soldier got introduced. Because that was the return of a character that was notoriously known as one of the characters that never comes back to life. The Bucky. And they finally did it. It was it was him, Bucky, and Jason Todd. Or, it was Bucky, Jason Todd, and Uncle Ben. The trifecta of three characters that were remaining dead. And now it's just Uncle Ben. Which is debatable because there's been other versions of Uncle Ben. But we're talking mainline. We're talking mainline uh, 616 universe. But um, that was like the high point of sales of Captain America and then the Ultimates comics. But yeah, Captain America has never been one of the top sellers. Um, then again, having said that, combat books in general aren't selling well anymore, period. Ugh. A lot of it has to do, too, with the fact that um, people are more into subscription services. Because even Marvel's got their own digital subscription. I did it for a while. Like, if you have a tablet, you can just have their, like, cheap, like, I don't know, it used to be, I think it was, like, eight bucks a month or something, their digital subscription service, and you just have, like, a digital bookcase and read the comics. You don't even need to go to a comic book store anymore. So, just like digital is hurting video games, physical sales, digital is hurting paper comic book sales. That's just a fact of, of the industry. So, they're already not selling great. Uh, with comic books and stuff, a lot of that stuff that makes money now is is all the other multimedia stuff, movies, video games, like all the other stuff that's not just a story written. 
People really like manga more. Manga has remained popular. Just like anime has over American animation. That, that That's never going to change. But it's like with with American comics, you, you have a couple heavy hitters, though, like Marvel, DC, Dark Horse. And those, they all have their own little, like, digital streaming services for comics. So it's like, do you really need to go to a comic store and buy them? Uh, not really anymore. Not if you don't want to. Series sucks. Oh! Wait, I'm going to save. I want to see what happens. Iron Man looks better with technology inside the suit. Back then, it was Iron Suit, not a robotic-looking suit. Well, they also had it where, uh, at one point, Iron Man, he fit, like, he made modifications to his DNA to fit pieces of his suit inside, like, molecularly inside the hollow parts of his bone, so it would just spring out from his body. It's just weird shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh no! Toasty Lara Croft. Well, we knew that would happen. Okay. We must survive. This area is so boring looking. What you reference was that extremist from Iron Man 3? No, 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 no. It, it extremist was different thing. Extremist was like a that virus that in the movie it like made people explode and overheat, but made them like crazy powerful. That's not what I'm referencing. That I forgot what they called it, but there was a time in the comics when Iron Man like he literally became an Iron Man, like it wasn't a suit anymore. It, it, Tony Stark like messed with his genetic. It, I hate that. I don't. I, I like the suit. <laughs> it's like Batman, like, running around as Bruce Wayne, and then, like, his suit, like, comes out from within his body. It's like, you don't need that. I don't know what to do here. Oh, look. How am I going to get there before the boulder? Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Damn, that... Okay, so it's like a race. These controls aren't that equipped, though, to handle a race against a boulder. Neither is the camera. Alright, let's try with the classic graphics. See what I mean? I don't know how I made it. <laughs> don't know how I made it. All right, there's one of these. I think, what, there were two more at the little power station? Remember when Wolverine was descended from a wolf god? Yeah, that's stupid. I hated that. Sabretooth was also, like, they were part of, like, this weird, like, uh, wolf people group. They weren't actually mutants. It was, like, a separate group of people. That were just natively like animal people and they were confused for mutants. Oh yeah, they undid that story real quick because it was stupid and nobody liked it. And then Wolverine was going feral, like reverting back to his animal form. So dumb. Like, he's a fucking mutant. Just stop. Like, don't do this stupid stuff. Like, I just want to go to the writers and like slap the pens out of their hands. Like, stop it. Stop it. You don't need to do this. You don't need to ruin established characters. Get some help. My God, that's Lammy. It's stupid. Yeah, like I said, it didn't last. It, it was the same. It was during the same time period. Okay, if you watch, if you watch Madam Web, this no joke. Like if you watch Madam Web, th this is what the movie had to do with. Also, except with Spider Man, like th this is the same era when they were trying to write Spider Man stories and completely devalue the whole radioactive bite. And it turns out that Spider-Man was always fated to get that spider bite because there's certain people that are like on the spider totem. And it was like this mystical, uh, basically like a mystical spider verse of different people that were destined to get spider powers. And that's when they introduced this character Ezekiel. And 
awful, awful, awful Spider-Man like retcons they did. And the Madam Web movie, they decided to adapt that into a movie, which, except they took out the Spider-Man stuff out of it, making it even more pointless. It sucks. It's stupid and unnecessary. But that was around the same time in the comics when they were trying to do the same thing with Wolverine, like make it like some kind of mystical animal connection. And it's like, you don't need to do that. Spider-Man just happened to be a kid in school that got bit by a radioactive spider. Like, what is the problem with that origin story? Why do you want to turn it into this overly complicated mystical thing? It's stupid. Like I said, stop it. Stop it! This area sucks. Just got done re reading the Punisher Wolverine Revelations comic. They had removed Punisher and, of course, all the angels. It would have been a really good comic. Yeah, that's the one where he had, like, the weird angelic powers. Like, the angel guns and stuff. Thing is, Punisher doesn't need to be supernatural. That's the thing. That's what makes Punisher such an attractive character, though. The fact that, like, he's living in a world of mystical things and monsters and gods... And he's just an angry dude with a gun that gets shit done when all the other heroes aren't doing it. Like, that's that's what makes the Punisher the Punisher. Once you take that away and just make him mystical, he's just another, like, random superhero. Yeah, it's dumb. There was an era in the comics when they were trying to do that, give all these characters, like, mystical, magical connections and stuff. It's dumb, man. Uh... Rogue, I think, was it you I was talking to? I think it was you I was talking to. There's this comic that I recommend. Um, there's this, uh, what was it called? I think it was Punisher, Punisher Kill Crew. Just Google Punisher Kill Crew. It'll come up. It, it, it's about, uh, the, when the, the, like a bunch of trolls, like, and creatures from Asgard and the Dark Elves invade Earth. The War of the Realms was the story arc. And it had a bunch of, like, micro series within it. The Punisher was one of the most interesting ones. Like, this family, this guy's family gets killed by, like, a giant troll. And Punisher promises him that he'll he'll track down the, the troll that killed his family. So, literally, Punisher's working with Juggernaut and Foggy Nelson from Daredevil, who he finds captured. Foggy Nelson and the Juggernaut. Uh, oh, and Black Knight. Just hunting down mystical creatures in a van, in the Punisher van, being flown by Thor's goats. Like, that, it's this crazy-ass story. And Punisher's wearing a war helmet that he found. And he's just going around blasting trolls and all kinds of mythical monsters with the Juggernaut and Black Knight. And then Foggy Nelson's begging him to drop him off at Earth. It's Punisher Kill Crew, I think. And it's part of the War of the Realm storyline. So Punisher is basically cleaning up New York with, with from trolls and, and elves with guns. And he and he's doing a really good job at it, too. It's so entertaining. Yeah, if you can find that. Find that. If you can, if you can uh, find that online to read, do it. It's such a good read. I read the whole thing. He just finds the juggernaut, like, captured, too. Like, by just some giants, like, some frost giants. And he frees them, and he's like, hey, you want to help? And juggernaut's like, yeah, sure thing, Frank. And they just go on in, in the battle van and steal Thor's goats, and they're flying around from realm to realm. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I, I need to turn on that thing, I think. the The conveyor belt. Kill Crew, yeah, yeah, it's Punisher Kill Crew. It's so good. It's one of the better recent Punisher stories. It's completely over the top and ridiculous. But it shows that he doesn't give a shit. Like, when there's supervillains that need a killing, he doesn't wait for the superheroes to show up. He's like, all right, I'll do it myself because you costumed idiots aren't doing anything. Oh, and then this giant, this frost giant that's at, that he's after, he's, like, hiding in, in Jotunheim. He, oh! <laughs> I got Chris. He's hiding because he heard the Punisher's looking for him. And he's like, this crazy human's jumping through all the realms trying to find me. And I've heard stories. Are you serious? I got stuck on the graphics. Please tell me it's gory. Oh, yeah, it's super gory. It's extremely gory. Yeah. I gotta reload there. Oh, 
I don't know if I saved after this or before it. Did I get the little piece? Yeah, I did. This level sucks. try I'm trying to figure out how to cuz there's that conveyor belt that I can't turn on How do all these little buildings get down here anyways I right, let me let me whoa is that health I see health Yeah, I think we're going to end up beating uh, the game on the next stream. Because there's still the whole DLC, too. Unfinished Business. I think it's two levels. I believe. I think it takes place like a month after uh, the game finishes or something like that. Let's see, it lowered a little bit. I wonder if that means anything. Drop save. Did we get did we get two new members today or one? Oh, Elite Join, that's why it says two. Sorry, we had one gifted membership. Alright, there there's gotta be a way for me to Because the conveyor belt was over here, I think. You know what's funny about this, this stupid conveyor belt? Alright, look at this. There's a conveyor belt, right? I assume i got to turn it on. That stupid thing is going to come over here. Why can't I crawl, grab it, and crawl back? Someone explain to me why I cannot do that. Why? What's the why? It doesn't make any damn sense. You can't crawl into it. Okay, that, there, there's the explanation. Because it's not Tomb Raider 3. <laughs> Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I don't care. This is a remaster. Give me the crawl. Like, logically. Why could she biologically not do that with her legs and body? Does she have some sort of handicap that uh, she can't, like, bend that way? I don't know. I gotta run around like a chicken with my head cut off. See, look, I can't do anything. I gotta turn it on. That's what I gotta do. And I can't look over there. They're blocking my ass. Damn you. No idea. It's pissed me off. Jump into the ultimate. I can't fit in the opening. There's an invisible wall. Because remember her jumps? This is how she jumps. <laughs> like a fool. See? She, she can't jump in it. Normally, I'd agree. Like, I wish you could. Gotta explore more and find some switch. Also, what I find stupid that you have to walk to a door to see if you go through it, I know. Yeah, this game's all about switches, of course. See, I feel like, you know what? Let's look. I feel like I could go through one of these. Because the rock comes through there. No, there's nothing there. Well, you know what? This process of elimination. At least this will tell me where not to go. 
Because if I'm done with this rocky ass, rocky ass area, then at least I know I'm done with it. See, look, there's nothing else here. I'm done with this area. Because all it does is loop me right back to right there. So I'm done with that area. Fuck off. Okay. All right, now this area. Oh, what's that? That's where I came from? Yeah. So there's this area. No, that's that's the other one. That's the one I can't get to. Like Star Wars Bounty Hunter, so many switches. My favorite thing in video games is random ass switches everywhere. Gotta love it, right? See, in that, I need the two other things. This is where I came from. There's no way I have to travel all the way back here, though. I refuse to believe that. Okay, that's how I got over here. Ah! What do I do? This damn game. Let me go back to this area. I'm going to go back in that little opening that I just came out of camera wise right here. Or as a grappling hook in Legends, at least. Yeah, at least she had tools that would help her actually climb stuff. Like a Tomb Raider would have. See, look. There... No, see, I can't grab onto this. See, because the other one, I remember seeing it here. No, no, not there. Where did I see it? This whole level, I've just been running out of the camera. Check the abandoned building. It has a broken roof. Oh, that, that one on the side that I was... You're not talking about one of these, right? Actually. Do they have a broken roof? Oh, you're right. Look. Ah, broken roof. I like the broken roof. Imagine playing this as a kid. I remember playing this as a kid. I never beat it. I don't think I did. I don't remember beating it. I remember the furthest I got. I remember being in Egypt as the furthest I got. And I, I remember getting frustrated. <laughs> it's a... Again, I didn't own it. I played it because I had a cousin that had it. And we'd go visit. And I'd play it over there. So I had like... I had a file in his memory card that I would I would reload every time I would go over. Us poor kids, poor kids of the 90s that were traumatized by difficulties. I feel without a guide this game has been impossible. I wouldn't say that cuz we've only looked up like one or two things that with enough time probably would have figured out. It falls into a spike pit. It's going to happen now. Where are you taking me now? Yes. Switch something that does anything. Thank you. Wait a minute. All right, I get video game logic. I really do. But why the hell did a switch make my boat move? Why? I understand. All right, now let's go back to the boat.
Or it didn't skip leg day. I mean, she better not with all the leg stuff she does. All the physical maneuvering and such. I, I, I'm very, okay, here's my theory. The switch, like, changed the water current or something. And made the boat do what it did. I don't fucking know. Who cares? <laughs> the boat moved. Love, uh, oh, Alone in the Dark has an old school mode for how puzzle hints and fix am camera angle Easter eggs was awesome. Yeah, I got it. No one's talking about that game. When did that come out, Rogue? Did that, ju that just came out, right? Everyone's talking about freaking Gamergate 2.0 and Sweet Baby Ink still. And I don't. Who cares? There's good games coming out. Like Alone in the Dark sounds like it's interesting. But yeah, to be fair, they didn't. I don't feel they really advertised that game very well. They didn't have a big marketing campaign. Finished it last night. They really should have marketed it more. I remember like a trailer ages ago, and then like I don't know. I feel like it's been kind of quiet. Can I finally get in there? Oh. Like I said, marketers these days suck. Yeah, even like Ghostbusters, like Frozen Empire, even that movie, I feel like it didn't get as much marketing as it should have. I feel like companies are, I, mean, I don't know, maybe companies are just really hesitant to market stuff in general now. Like, because they're afraid they're not going to like make money or break even, so they just would not spend it on like a marketing budget. You still got a market move. It's like there's this game that just came out recently. Apparently, it, it's funny because people are memeing it on on memeing on it on Twitter because it, it's called un like Undone or something. Uh, it's Will Smith. It, it, it was made like like Tencent, like some Chinese company, but it was a Will Smith zombie survival game. And this article came out saying how even Will Smith couldn't save the game because it, it, the sales were abysmal for it. And everybody, it's funny because like, everybody was saying the same thing I was thinking. When you're reading through the replies, everyone's like, what is this game? Like, no one heard of it. And they're like, that's probably why I horribly bombed. Like, no one's heard of this thing. Some random Will Smith zombie survival horror game. It's like, wait, when was this? You can't just hire some, like, AAA star and then not market a game and hope people buy it. That's not how it works. They've been memeing the shit out of that. It's hilarious because literally every single person has the same reaction. What the hell is that? And it's like, there you go. That's probably why you did. I mean, it didn't look very good anyways, but you might have had at least two or three sales <laughs> instead of nothing. I'd never seen the Will Smith game. Nobody had. It apparently it came out and bombed. And it's like, Will Smith couldn't even save the game. And everyone's like, what is that? Like, This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, hell yeah! That's the second one. Ain't nothing personal. Oh no! Whoa! No! I haven't saved in a bit. I don't think. You greasy son of a bitch! Oh, wait, okay, wait, I did save. Never mind. <laughs> We're all right. We're all right. False alarm, false alarm. We're good. Will Smith had a game, Ozzy. Look up, go on Twitter next time you go on and just type in Will Smith game. You'll see it. It was trending earlier today. Nobody knew what the hell this game was. It's just articles talking about how even Will Smith couldn't save this game. It's like, well, yeah, he didn't advertise it. All right, I'm dropping a save right now. <clears throat> I forgot I don't have my guns. Ain't 
nothing personal. Where? Oh, fuck. I don't have guns, you asshole. I want a melee attack. <laughs> I don't have that either. Man, I wish I had my pickaxe from uh, the Survivor Tomb Raider games. Fatality. The Deadpool. It's gotta be a way out. Ain't nothing personal. There's lava pits everywhere. What if I go down here? Excuse me. Nope. Damn it, because I follow baseball, the Will Smiths that come up are the baseball players. Look up Will Smith game. Or Will Smith zombie. Will Smith zombie game. That's you gotta type in. Uh, there's nowhere to go. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave and put this thing away because there's nowhere to go. At least I can put the thing on the switch. I guess. Natsla. Okay. I live once again. Alright, let me see if I can get back up there now. This Undawn looks horrible. Looks like a mobile phone game. Well, it's made by a mobile phone developer, Tencent. Yeah, it's a Chinese company that makes mobile shit. It's garbage. They also made that garbage ass Contra Returns mobile game. But yeah, it looked like it looked like shit. That's why I say Will Smith probably wouldn't have been able to save the game anyways. However, yes, you do have to market a video game if you want people to even know that it exists. Unless you're a very high-profile game, like Final Fantasy VII or something. Like, yeah, everyone and their mother knows it's coming out. Um. The entanglement, the slap around the world. Now this, Will Smith can't catch a break. I mean, all those things are kind of his own fault, though. <laughs> it, it also, I mean, don't, don't sign up to be part of a, a shitty-looking video game. That's very clearly a shitty looking video game. By a Chinese mobile phone game maker. I forgot how to... Was it this way? I forgot how, to, how I got over here. Do I have to move the boat back? I think I gotta get in there. How did I get over there? I forgot how I got over there. Vin Diesel couldn't save his Fast and Furious game since he announced it. Oh yeah, and they, they were talking about how mind-blowing the graphics were. It's like, they're really not. <laughs> like, at all. Or even close to to being what you'd consider mind-blowingly good. But that's what you get all these celebrities, they don't know video games. Like, they just, they got hired for like a, you know, just to, to, for the name, for the big name. It's like, when you're relying on a celebrity, just the fact that a celebrity is in it to market your game, there's probably not much of a game behind that. And that, that's a lot, like Callisto Protocol's one, like Josh Demel, big, you know, big celebrity, and then, you play the game and you're just like, oh, it's really not that great. I mean, you could have celebrities in video games and still be a good game, but like if that's what you're 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 putting your hopes and dreams on, like think again.
Here we go. Do Rebels hire Henry Cavill for their video game? I want him to be Wolverine. That's what I want them to hire him for. <clears throat> okay. See, now I just got to mess with the conveyor belt somehow. Let's look at the top. Where is there left to go? I'm trying to think. I feel like I've been everywhere here. It's that stupid conveyor belt. I know there's got to be a switch that I walked by or something. Once again, I ask, why can't I crawl in that hole? Make sure I didn't miss a switch. There's a switch on the drill area where you move the bot on the drill area? There was a switch there? What do you mean? I didn't see anything over there. Did I miss it completely? Because I've been in that room several times. Let me go back. Ah! I think I remember you need to climb on top of the box. Hold on, you said the drill area. This is the drill area. I do see a box. I feel like there's something behind. Oh, look. Wait, have I been here? Yeah, here's a... Wait, I... I've moved this switch already. Yeah, it just opens that. Are you talking about the other area? The Notla box? I hate you, Mines. Just want to make sure I don't miss a switch here. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Look. There's no... Oh, my God. Would have never seen that. You serious? Damn this game. <laughs> I love this game, but damn it. Can't even tell. There's something there. Fuck. Probably save after this level. My mind is fried. It's toasty. Yeah, it is BS, man. Watch. Now the conveyor belts can start moving. No, a door opened. Or a gate. Oh, there, there was a gate over by the conveyor belt. I want my guns. I want all my guns. These games really fry your, your mind. <laughs> like when you're trying to get through them. Alright. Now back to the conveyor belt. Excellent. See? Progress. Once again. You know, let me let me let me do the save here. Cause you know, you just don't know.
so much backtracking. Yeah, in a boring ass mine shaft. I've never liked mine levels. I don't like them in this. I don't like them in Resident Evil. Resident Evil's had a lot of mine areas. Damn, I'm getting hungry. I want grilled cheese. Ooh, I got some rotisserie chicken today. I'm going to make a rotisserie chicken sandwich. See? Over here. Now I bet it's going to start. There's a switch here, and it's going to make the conveyor belt move. And I go on about my day. Getting out of Natla's Mines. That means next stream, if I beat this level, that means next stream there'll be two levels and then the DLC. And then from there we can move on to Tomb Raider 2. I think we'll pretty much go go straight through. Maybe we'll start up Tomb Raider 2 after that. I like these games. So far you guys seem to be enjoying these Tomb Raider streams overall. With all their bullshit. <laughs> Always bullshit. I keep feeling like it's Monday. It feels like a Monday today. I don't know why. That's the thing about not having a day job. Like, you just, you days fuse together. You don't know what day is what. Half the time, I only know what day it is. Because if I'm streaming, I know it's either a Monday or a Friday. Otherwise, I'm lost. I'm just running around like, oh, what day, what day is it? What year? Do I get all my guns back? Just my pistols. So that means now I can take out that dude. If I can remember where the hell he was. Where was he? Was he over here? No. Damn it, now I gotta remember where the hell that dude was. With all the volcanic stuff. The DLC is going to be range inducing though. Is it long? Because I, I never played. I definitely never played the DLC. Because it was a. It was a exclusive to the PC version of Tomb Raider. That it did not play ever. I, I love that they added that in here though. It was a little. Like a lost piece of media. <sighs> God, this level really does have a lot of backtracking. It's such a small area, too, and you just gotta go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Alright, let's go back to whoop some ass. Whoop some nae -nae. Is there sand in the DLC? I don't even know either what the DLC is. I, I, I think she goes back to one of the areas. You go back to, oh god, you go back to Egypt, too. Shit. Well, we got to do it. <laughs> Yay, more sand. Oh, is this area? Here we go. Ain't nothing personal. Damn. Oh no! <laughs> I did not mean to backflip into molten lava. This game or MK Special Forces, which one's better? This game by far. Like, there's no, that's a crazy question. No comparison whatsoever in terms of quality. Ain't nothing personal. Because this is a good game, that is not. Period. Full stop. Oh, he's not going to be able to kill me now. Look at this. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't see him, but his energy is going down. Oh, crap. I'm stuck on the wall. I got to move. <laughs> Gotta heal up again. Want to make sure he was dead. Seems to be. 
I right, drop a save there. Hate all the ranged human enemies who just hit scan damage. It's, yeah, they just take a beating too, man. Destroy him. Uh, oh, wait. Can I make that jump is the question. I do not know, but I will try. Uh, oh, I can't make that jump. There's no way. Nope. There's no way. Terrible. I have to get to that switch. It's on old graphics. I mean, definitely down there is not the answer. Although, oh, look, look, we have platforms. <laughs> well, 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 there we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Sabotage! Sabotage! Yeah, see, sometimes you don't know if you can make the jump until you're halfway up in the air. And once you realize it's too late, <laughs> whoops. Oopsie daisies. <gasps> Whoa! I don't even know if I was able. Whoa, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I think that was luck that I ended up here. Oh, I'm just I'm going to I'm going to take the win. I'm going to go. I think you get the magnums from the Cowboys corpse. Oh, did I leave them? I hope not. Well, here, let's do this actually. I'll do a save right here on the bottom. And then we'll load the top one real quick. Just to for verification purposes. Shit, you're right. Good catch on that. Woo! Almost left my magnums there. I just didn't check his body. Oh, now I gotta figure out how I got down here without dying. How am I gonna do that? Alright, save. Real quick. Before we go further. You see what I mean? How did I get there without, like, falling? I don't know how I did it. How did I do it? See, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. But somehow I, I landed just right. To like not to miss that first ledge. Let go and then grab I tried and she didn't grab it. She just fell. But whatever, we made it now. I don't care. This looks rather dangerous. Oh, Ah! 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 Scorpion wins. Toasty. Oh, fuck. I hate this area. These mines suck. Okay, let me, let me, grab, 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 grab. Oh, yes, it worked. I tried it before and she didn't grab on. What the hell was that? I just fell through the floor. 
Man. Oh. Lara Croft lives. Oh. Boda gave it. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I saw you in the chat earlier today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like Elvis Cabal would say in Mortal Kombat Channel Monks. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Fellow warriors. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I'll gift you my hook swords. Which areas are used too much in video games? Lava or water? Both. Water, lava, ice levels. Sewers, mines. They're all the same. They're all the same category of don't do it. You can think of something better. Did you play the Wayne's World game? No, I know exactly what that game is. I never rented it when I was a kid. I never played it. There are a lot of weird games. Man, everything used to get a game. We had a lot of weird games back in the day. Anyone remember Zool of the Nth Dimension? The little weird green goblin ninja guy? That was such a good game. I had it on Super Nintendo, and I used to love that game. That was a spot on Elvis impersonation. That was Cabal in Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. <laughs> that, that's exactly what Cabal in Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks for some reason sounded like. I got a shape up and the lady made my forehead two inches bigger. I look like Modoc. <laughs> I don't know why that's hilarious. Like Egghead. Oh fuck. Home Improvement got a game where Tim Allen fights dinosaurs. See, they weren't dinosaurs. They were parts of other show sets in that same TV station that that were going out of control. They were animatronic and you had the Help stop it all from happening. It's a stupid idea. Dinosaurs were all the rage. No! No! I saw that slope! I saw it last minute! Arachnophobia got a video game where you play as John Goodman. They made a game of... What console is that for, Rogue? I didn't know that got a game. Apparently, Jedi uh, Survivor is uh, uh, arachnophobia of the game. They got an anti-arachnophobia uh, mode. In case you don't like spiders, you can protect yourself from fictional alien spiders. That can't hurt you anyways. Oh, look. Oh, there was a rock right there about to run my ass over. Is there something here? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like I've come so far in this game. From Peru, now here. Here we go. This is what I gotta do. You stream the home improvement game? I should do that sometime. That'd be fun. Amiga, Amstrad, Commodore. Okay, so not actual like traditional consoles. Makes sense. There were a lot of weird games that would come out in, in that time period of like alternate consoles, I'll call them, because they weren't Nintendo or Sega. You had a... Uh, the Running Man got a video game. I think it was on, on one of those. I don't remember which one, but yeah, The Running Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger Running Man had a video game. And that's awesome. <sighs> what the hell do I do here? can't reach 
Help me. That rocket. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait, what the hell? It's two different ways, but I gotta get up there. Maybe one of them's less height than the other. No? Has it been a G.I. Joe game for NES? There were two. You had G.I. Joe and then G.I. Joe, I think it was called the Atlantis Factor. Something like that. I don't know how to get out of here. Wait, I can reach that. Problem solved. I want that health pack, though. I gotta get it. This level's long as shit. That's her, jumping across a little, little cliff like that and then bashing your face against the rocks. I keep hearing background noises in these caves and it sounds like someone's flushing the toilet. Glad I got my guns back. I feel like I should save here soon. Ooh. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Got my ammo, got my med packs, got my shotgun. I'm good. You know what? I better drop that save. Feel a little more confident now with that save. God, look how dark it is there. Oh, what the hell? It's a dead end? What? Uh, this is where I came from. There has to be another opening. No, that's 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 a hard dead end right there. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, fuck. How am I... How am I going to get through this lava? Oh, my shit. I got to be real careful here with these jumps. Oh, so I guess that whole area was just to get my shotgun. I guess it wasn't required. Ooh. Very careful. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that's quite a jump. There's a slope. There's a slope. They're going to try to trick me. I actually missed that shotgun, so yeah, optional secret. I'm, I'm glad I went over there. Oh. Not enough of a slope. Yes. Shit. Life of Black Tiger stream. You know, I thought about streaming that a long time ago when I saw that review. Give looks like such ass. Ass. Oh, now what? <sighs> so go over here. Whoa.
That's bizarre. Yeah, look, this one different color. Are you stream the Bible games? Maybe one day. Although they definitely look like ass. They look like horrible games. So this is already compromised. I'm assuming I have to move this. Or blow up those rocks. Yeah, that's the only one I can move. I bet you I gotta move them here. Closer to this. I'd like to see you chuck a baby Moses. No, I should you know what I should stream, Ozzy? Lester the unlikely. I know you're all about that game now. <laughs> Terrible. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Where am I dragging this big bitch? It's got to be over there. Let me try this. <laughs> Do it. How long did that game take you to beat out of curiosity? Hours wise. What, like three hours? You sure that ugh, Universal Theme Park game? And then, oh, I, you know what? I used to play the game all the time because one of my best friends owned it on GameCube. And I'd go to his house and we'd play it. It was so fun for some reason. It's a terrible game, really. But oh, we had fun playing through it back in the day. And it, it absolutely does not represent current day Universal Studios. Like when you play it, like back then, sure. But now it's like, yeah, that it's everything's totally different now. Can I push it further? Nope. If anyone wants to streak, streak killer clowns from outer space, it's gonna be an epic game. Okay, so maybe I didn't have to put it here. How do we get over this? Oh, I can't fit over here. There's no way. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Haha. -ha. There you go. I thought rocks were going to slide down there. I saw those little those little grooves. Fuck. All right, save. You know the drill. If there's a hint of danger, you save. Uh, am I screwed? Yep, I'm screwed. Uh, toasty. Did you stream Spider-Man 2? I did not. Uh, none of the Spider-Man 2s. The movie game or the new Spider-Man 2. How the fuck? I can't get through there. I can't make that jump. Maybe I can. That's a mighty fine jump. <laughs> oh, my brain is so fried with this game. How about Spider-Man 2 PS1? I haven't streamed that either. Although I do like that game a lot. That's a very good game. I didn't mean to do that. Poppycock. Ah. Oh. Can you stream the Arkham games instead of stream Kill the Justice League? I don't even know if I'm going to stream Kill the Justice League. 
It's not even worth it. It's an awful game. Awful, boring game. Unfinished slop. Jump to the side slope? That's what I was trying to do, and I can't do it. See, look. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought that would make me slide away. I just picked the wrong side, I guess. And I can't see shit where I'm going. I heard a rock. I heard a rock rolling. That might be dangerous. Wow, all that just to get to this switch. I actually forgot about this switch completely. Holy shit. Oh, now how am I going to get back? Because I got to go over there. Now we save. Would you rather play Kill the Justice League or Superman 64? I, I would rather play Kill the Justice League. Over Superman 64? Yes. Yes, I would. Anyone who's sane mind would. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't sure I could do that. I don't even know if that's where I'm supposed to be. Maybe I'm supposed to go back. See, this is why I hate in games when they don't tell you, like, what you just did. Like, at least show me what I did by pressing that. Is the beginning area? I don't Let me keep going this way. No! 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 <laughs> I knew I was going to fall down the slope. You should go back and finish Superman 64. Oh, no, no, no. We did finish it. It's not my fault the game fucked me at the end. It's done. It's finished. Complete. Brainiac defeated. So did they make Killer Shark from Assault on Arkham another multiverse poser that Batman couldn't figure out like Deadshot? Uh, did they make him another mult? No. He's not a multiverse character. He's. It's unexplained why the guy is King Shark in Assault on Arkham. Versus the this the the common thing that people are saying now is that now Assault on Arkham is no longer canon. That's the only way it would possibly make any sort of sense. Because they already had a King Shark in that. I think I went too far. You go back to the area with the TNT? Oh. There was that tunnel, right? That was like a dead end. Do you stream back you stream Batman Dark Tomorrow? Oh, restream now. I had my fill of that game. That game was also defeated. <laughs> oh! So Killer Shark just got over having his own head blown off. Completely unreferenced in the game. Uh, maybe it's a relative of King Shark. <laughs> I don't know. Another King Shark. He does talk a lot about his father. That's all I can tell you. I don't know. I have no explanation. <laughs> like that. That's it. What the hell happened here? Oh, there was a rock site? Ah, here we go. This is the way. We have discovered the Isu Temple from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Also, Atlantis. Did you stream Eternal Darkness? Yeah, I gotta stream the other endings, though. Because we did the...
why am I fighting a kid in a skateboard with Uzi? <laughs> what the hell is this? That caught me so off guard. Lara Croft is shooting a kid with a shotgun on a skateboard. <laughs> what the hell is that? Who is this jackass? Riding around an ancient temple on a skateboard with a backwards hat. Well, now you died. Get my stuff back. That is so stupid. What does he look like normally? <laughs> look at him. He looks like a character from Bully. Look. Tell me it does look like a character from Bully. Makes no sense. Yeah, I just killed Bart Simpson. Man. That is absurd. That's kind of hilarious, though. He shows up like, you shooting at me? You shooting at me? Huh? Huh? What an asshole. Fuck. How'd do that? Oh! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I heard it and I didn't see it coming at all. What the hell, man? Why a skateboard at Ancient Temple? The only answer I can give you is a question. And that question would be why not? <laughs> ah! <laughs> She's on vetting characters for Tony Hawk Pro Skater, probably. Rock City went downhill. Many of its old devs and writers left. Well, you know what else? One of the uh, one of the heads of the studio left during development too, and he actually <coughs> fuck. He actually went and created his own studio. I forgot what it was called. They're working on their own AAA game now. Yeah, Rock is my Achilles heel, apparently. You know what I'm going to do? Here, let's do this. Let one of them roll towards us, and the other one... It didn't work! <laughs> it hit my knees. It's so stupid. I just got in a firefight with a, a kid in a skateboard, and I can't pass, pass a rock. Maybe it's the rock. Duh! See, that rock right there was bullshit. How are you ever supposed to see that coming? Ugh. Okay. This level's so long. I feel like I've been saying about all these recent levels. I just want to be out of his mind. Come on, Lara. Almost there. Oh, I see something. There's structure. <coughs> the hell? <coughs> She's got to be so sore when she gets home. After this entire adventure of jumping and climbing and pushing heavy ass rocks. Spend weeks recovering. Oh, another one. Oh. 
Look at that. That's very Assassin's Creed. Weird symbols and artifacts and shit. Shame Flash game got canceled, yet Suicide Squad game was allowed. It's a shame, too, because Suicide Squad game, in all honesty, it could have been good. Uh, what they needed to do is get these, these executives at WB to stay out of game development. They don't know anything about it, and they try to make all these decisions based on financial on, on finances alone. And then you, you get, well, that. <laughs> what happened with Suicide Squad? You get that. What the hell do I do now? Help! Stuck at this random ass pyramid. See, again, it, this this would be terrifying in real life. Because you... How would you know, like, there's an exit on the other side? Like, how would you get out of this place? It reminds me of those crazy ass people that go, like, cave diving and shit. And people have died from that, just getting stuck. Like in a cave where you're too deep and no one could come rescue you? Like, why? 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 Like, why, why are you doing this? Larkoft. You got the same problem. Maybe I have to push this one. I can't pull it any further. Yeah, I gotta push it. No, I can't push it. What? Um. So I can't pull it any other direction either. See, I gotta move this. Maybe the old graphics will help. So this is where it starts. Alright. I gotta work from here. Fight a mistake or something. <clears throat> See, there's no other way. It has that something to do with this door? The fuck, do I open this door? We shoot it. And I know that sunroom's a lie. I feel like I'm looking at this the wrong way. Damn you, puzzles. See, I think I just got to make sure they're completely out of the way. That one's completely out of the way now. Which I don't think it matters for this. I hate this. See, like, alright. There's nowhere to push this. There's nowhere to push it but in. That's what she said. Huh. 
Anyone know what I'm doing wrong here? Doesn't make sense. I have to be close to the end of this level. See, I think that's a door. Uh, Alright, this one I pushed to open this passageway. Fuck, what am I doing wrong? I want to get out of these mines. Hey, at least we're out of Egypt, right? That's fake. Can't look behind it. Oh, look, look. You see behind it. There has to be another wall down there I can move. Has to be. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to just run into the abyss. Oh, fuck. I didn't save. You gotta be kidding me. I'm over this shit. These ancient saving systems. I'm over it, I said. Oh, the rocks again. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind playing this game. This damn eternal darkness checkpoint system. Or not checkpoint, saving system. They don't have checkpoints. <laughs> they caught me off guard. I thought it was going to go on the other side. They fool you. No more mines after this. No more games with mines, period. It's over. Let's well, come one at a time. There. The other one never dropped. What the hell? I'll take it. I will take it. Anyone know if this is the end of the stage after this part with the rocks or with the uh, the red blocks? I gotta save right when I get up there. Fuck it. Can't say never played. Save right here. Right here, right now. Alright, well, alright, see, this is the only wall I can move. And I can't really do anything with it this way. Because I can't move it any other way. So I'm going to have to move it forward. And that's the only solution to this problem. <sighs> Alright, let's, now let's analyze the situation. So I cannot move that one anywhere else. So we have to keep moving. <clears throat> we we got to do process of elimination here. Do one room at a time. Make sure we do it all right. And try pulling this one out. See, and then maybe this just has to get out of the way completely, like like so.
Walls look like they're made out of sand. Well, it's Atlantis stuff, so maybe. See, I don't know why the hell you're not open. But I hate you. See right here. This is the this is the the the, the block that has me that has me blocked. Ah, I gotta get I gotta get re comfortable. Can't push it. I can only pull it. I wonder if there's backtracking somewhere. I literally, I can't do anything with this rock. This is the only thing I can do with that boulder. Or with that, uh, block. Just leave it right there where it is. I wonder if I have to backtrack and, it, like, open up a hole somewhere else. I imagine that's what happened. We shall find out. That's why I saved right before. Because if I'm wrong, I can just reload the save. What the hell would that have done, though? You know what? I bet you there's areas over here on the side. Oh, wait. Look, look. I'm completely blocked. No, I'm not. Have I looked to the sides? There's some bullets. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Man, that, that I swear these areas you have to go, they're buried in these little areas that you would never even notice without a camera mode. Get me out of this level. Fade's too focused, he won't see this comment, the one I just saw. Focus on this bullshit. Can't wait to play Tomb Raider 2. I'm over this. So hungry. I feel famished. I'm diminishing. What? The hell was that for? Okay, so I think that's just to get the ammo. These levels are freaking two hours at a time. Wow, look at this. Look at the old graphics. New graphics, old graphics. <laughs> it's just like a flat serve. Actually, here, this might be helpful. There's this jackass. He just looks like a regular young boy. That Lara Croft murdered. With no hesitation. Could go for a good salad right now. Doesn't sound bad. Oh, it opened. Secrets revealed. I guess. Did a good job convincing me not to get the collection. It's not bad, but it's tedious with backtracking. Yeah, it's been mostly these later levels. The first couple levels wasn't too bad with the backtracking. They were much br more brief. This one, though, it's like, holy shit. Ever since we got uh, in Egypt, it's been a lot of it. I should have to do with the rocks. 
Or with the boulder, uh, the blocks. It's got to have something to do with the blocks. I'm about to look it up. Wait, let me drop a save. Is that some stupid shit's going to happen? This really should have been two levels, because this is no longer Natlas Mines. Like, this is not a mine shaft that I'm in right now. Very far from it. The level gets longer and harder as you get near the end. That's what she said. But yes, I see that. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I feel like there's nowhere else to go. I went to the area of the blocks, but then I'm like locked in there. Oh, wait, is that? No. That wall looked like a different color. Oh, what? Go back to the area where you see the yellow walls. You're talking about the blocks, right? Where I'm going now? That's the only way forward. Yeah, these walls. got to be some wall or something that I'm not interacting with that I could. Got to be something I'm missing. Yeah, you're like 80% of the level. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm missing here. That skateboard kid's sister is going to tell a story story when my brother mysteriously died while exploring the Amazon with Lara Croft. He got gunned down by her. <laughs> See, it's got something to do with this. this damn block that's giving me grief why can't I move it to the side I can only push or pull can't do anything but that doesn't make sense let me see what is this place called Two-wing mutants. I forgot I had the guide pulled up from before. The hell is going on? I don't know. We gotta deal with these stupid bo uh, Natla's mines. Here we go. I am almost near the end. Uh, passageway, southeast landing. Wow, I'm looking at the guide. This area is just—it's an enormous uh, guide. Fight the kid. We did that. Yet another boulder trap. Low ceiling rooms with movable blocks. <laughs> He's cheating. Yes, I am. Because uh, we didn't do it as kids with Brady games, strategy guides. All right. Now push the first block. This would open. What? Push this block twice into the next room. To the right is an opening in the ceiling. Climb up through it. Here you'll find another movable block. Pull it once, then go around to the left. Push it so it ends up next to the hole. Go through the opening. There's another small room with an opening on the floor and a gold door. The gold door. Drop through the opening into a small room with yet another movable block. Pull this block once. This will make space for you to move the first block back in the room where you entered. What? Oh, so this is... What the fuck? So the way this is layered... The... F 
I'm not even going to explain it. I'm just going to go to the first room. Because now apparently I can move the first block more. Wait. Is this the room? Yeah, here. Elite, welcome back. I don't know how that worked out. What? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just that I, I don't understand how that all tied together. But now, because I moved the other rock, now I can move that one. Screw you. Oh my god. Talking to the game. <laughs> Lose my mind. I'm already fried. My, my mind is fried. My mind is fried. Like a like a like a cheeseburger. Alright, now the gold door's open. Okay. Near the end. Turn around. Finish this shit, I know, right? Have to do Superman 64 way where we YouTube the ending? Hell no. It's not that complicated. Superman 64 with its nonsense though. I was so mad after all that struggling, all those stupid ring challenges. The game at the end is like, sorry, you don't have enough lasers. The hell do you mean? What a garbage ass game. The fact that they couldn't even account for that or not give Superman like. He couldn't, like, rest to get his lasers back or something, you know? I don't know what the hell that room was that just opened. What the hell was that room? Hold on. I opened the gold door. Pull the switch to open the gold door in the room above. To climb through the opening in the ceiling. Go through the door and the doors on the left. Oh my god. Look at this shit in this guide. There's like a guide with like a map. Look at this. A map of all the different blocks you have to move around. Look at this crap. Why? And then you have to, like, know what level you're on. And all the boulders are labeled. This level's horrible. It's a horrible level. Why did it... Why? Why does this exist? <clears throat> Nobody likes block puzzles. Nobody. And if you do, there's something wrong with your head. Why did that close? Why did that close? Shout out Phoenix. Welcome to the, the freaking nonsensical Switch stream. Again, this is almost impossible with the guide. Somehow I hate this less than the sister. Yeah, this sucks. What? Why is it closing on me? This is definitely not the finale. I did not put finale in title this time. <laughs> I did not. Maybe now I can move this other block further. No? Why 
block puzzle, I take it. Yeah, it, the freaking block puzzles. My favorite kind of puzzles. So let me push this all the way back in. DLC 2, probably for... Well, no, we only have two levels left after this, then the DLC, so we'll, we'll knock it out next stream. Even if we go a little later. It's not worth another two streams. Well, I can't do shit with this yet. So let's get out of here. Soul Reaver had these god-awful block puzzles. Soul Reaver was all block puzzles. I, I was... As classic as that game is, man, you... After halfway through the game, you're, you're sick of the puzzles. Oh, it's awful. I don't remember if it was the first one. I think it was the second one that had all the block puzzles. Maybe both. Go back to the first switch in the yellow room. I don't even remember what the first switch was. Oh, in the first room. That was here. Oh. Say cheese. Oh, God. Wait a minute. So, someone else here about to light me up. Guess what, bitch? I got my magnum, son. Oh, it's Mr. X. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mr. X. Fake Mr. X. Look at that. Oh, the classic graphics, they didn't have a health bar. I just noticed that. No, hell no, you need a health bar. Dude's enormous. Whoa. No. I hate that. <laughs> I thought I was done. No. Uh, no. No. What's up here? Anything? the whole point of that fight oh the hell okay I gotta find some triangle key I guess I did something. Where's this key under a block, I guess? I don't know. I, ooh, ammo. I bet you it's going to be uh, fucking unseeable unless I use the uh, old graphics. It's just laying somewhere. Okay, that closed that door. There's nothing over there, though. It's dark up there. Oh, there's an opening. I see you. I see that opening. Oh, switch. How do I... Can I walk up here? Yeah, I have to make it over there somehow. Yeah, let's do this. Climb. Saving right here. I'm assuming I did that switch and it opens that door. So that's going to open that door over there in one of those little, let's call those apartment buildings. 
And the key's gonna be inside that, I bet. I'm calling it right now. Just gotta get over there. This game, I'm telling you, it gets so frustrating near the end here. See, I gotta just do like square by square here. Oh. And then slide over there. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. <sighs> and then... Yes, that was it. Let's see if I was right. I bet you'd open the door to that little house over there. Lord has gotten insane at this point. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't after dealing with all this? Look at that guy. He looks so different with the old graphics. Yeah, look, see, told you to open the door, and I bet you the key's right in here. Or it's going to lead to a maze with a whole other set of puzzles. Watch. Nope, there it is. I saw it. Some weird, like, triangle key. Get it! Yes! Finally, we can beat this damn level. Natla's two-hour-ass minds. Good lord. Have mercy. Get me out of here. Ugh. An hour and a half. Just that. Moving blocks and doing all kinds of shit. Ew. Wow, that table looks totally different. Let's see what this looks like. We'll save here. Oh, look at that, you can't see anything. Whoa, look at this. This is like... It's like rocks, and then here it's just like weird red stuff. This photo mode would work wonders in Shadow Man Remastered. Oh my god, you're telling me? Shadow Man's a game where you can get lost easily. What is that? This is the final level in Contra. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, I just wanted to see what it looked like. this area looks like this is so weird look at it. it looks like a spaceship they're like weird little birthing pods or something I guess totally different two more levels and Lannis is a pretty scary level for a certain reason yeah it looks all fucked up but I'm not doing it tonight <laughs> I'm done with this I'm over this game right now I'm tired <laughs> Uh, we'll cut it there. We'll continue this game uh, well, next time. Uh, for the schedule, Monday, we are streaming. Uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth, stream number three, made to the Junon region. We'll continue through there. Um, and no stream Friday, because I won't be here. Uh, I, I may move it to another day. I might not. Uh, if I do move it to another day, we'll probably just top it off with finishing Vice City Stories. Now that the dock works, I got the new one. Um, I hope you dream of Laura saying no. Yeah, of course. I am. I'm going to wake up in the light. Someone's going to be like, no, in my ear. I'm like, oh. But I'm going to go make food. I'm hungry. So I'm going to go. <laughs> but everyone, have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys for the support today. And uh, Monday. Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Final Fantasy. I will see you there.